Discretion is advised. I think we got it under control, question mark. Not 100% sure, but I feel like we're doing something correctly somewhere. Uh... I don't know what they're doing, but they're making it a little awkward. Happy Thursday. You're listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 221. We are in a patch 8.0 point blah, blah, blah until 8.1. Tonight, we are going to be talking about a variety of, th variety of things, actually. And it may or may not include some pretty, I don't want to say racy ranting, but got a lot of opinions this episode. And... While Rem gives himself a haircut, you guys should go grab a drink and make sure that you go potty because I don't want you pissing yourself, especially with the rants and, you know, turtles making it to the water and such. I, I don't know if they did or not, but uh, we have a ton of stuff to talk about, so make sure you guys stay right here. In 2014, the crack commando unit was banned from trade chat for comments they didn't make. These men and women promptly escaped from the Stormwind stockades to the Iron Forge underground. Today, still hunted by the trolls of trade chat, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, then maybe you can hire the Pwncast. Leader and brains of the operation, it's Bell. I want tacos so bad. Betrayer of the priestly order and huntard extraordinaire. It's remedies. Then how did you eat it in the first place? Lovable defender of the lesser races of Azeroth, it's murky. Because a turtle made it to the water. With the Pwncast team assembled, let the battle for Azeroth begin. Hello, people of podcast land. This is Winstolin speaking. And Winstead from the Technically PvP podcast. And you are listening to the Pawncast podcast. My favorite is when I realize that I forgot the bumper. And then I have to awkwardly fade back out from said bumper. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to mute you guys now. Just, you know, for reasons. Did I not unmute you? No, I'm just kidding. We're here. I hate you. <laughs> God, he's like the worst ever, guys. Mm. Guys, it's Thursday. We're almost to Friday. We're making... Making our way downtown. Walking, Walking fast. fast. Faces past. We're homebound. No, 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 no. These guys are so embarrassing. I made some lemonade today, so I'm on the sugar rush. Well, welcome back, guys. If you are new to Pwncast, my name is Belle, and with me are my two co-hosts i should name them my left nut and my right nut because that <laughs> would make more sense but instead i guess i could call them by their names we have remedies the gullible and hi thank you for having me though <laughs> <laughs> and we also have murky the magical murloc uh it's a pleasure to be here <sighs> guys how about that new uh, intro? Uh, 200. Uh, what are Murlocs for? Uh, You're a little <laughs> quieter than tr than Murky. You should maybe... Because I turned down my gain? Oh, on. you should turn your, your mic volume up, though. Maybe. Quality like, production. I know, guys. Is we, this loud enough? We got a quality production. Quality production and going equality. on here. I... Except so, for paid less than so. so. Before we get into stuff, I want to thank Winstead, a.k.a. Winstalin, who did the intro. He did the audio. I am learning Adobe After Effects, so I did jazz up the intro a little bit. It's really basic, guys, but I'm still learning, so at least it's not like... So are you learning Adobe and Adobe? <laughs> that was you. stupid. That was really well, stupid. The, the tacos, hello? Um, And also, you're still low. You're low. Somebody's going to complain about it on YouTube, and they're going to be like, don't you do... I'll just talk like this all night, Belle. They're going to say, don't you do quality check? <laughs> Tell maybe, me more, Belle. Maybe move it closer to your face. Just... 
How's it going? Oh my god, that was super weird. <laughs> Better, but weird. Um, I want to thank him for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. I cannot take any credit for the creative genius behind uh, the new audio intro because that was not me. That was uh, Winstead. And Winstead is from Technically PvP Podcast, in case you are not sure who that fine gentleman is. But he is amazing. We are going to have him uh, back on soon, actually, because, you know, he's awesome. And why wouldn't we? But, uh, yeah, yeah pretty video. happy with that whole get-down situation of the intro. <laughs> a turtle has made it to the water. A turtle did make it to the water. Guys, let's talk about what's happening for Tuesday's weekly reset. So for Tuesday, October 2nd, we still will have the Brewfest going on. It's going on until the 6th. If you've kind of put it off because of all the things going on in BFA, make sure you take five minutes Go do the Brewfest things, especially if you have not gotten what you need for the What a Long Strange trip it's been. Because nobody wants to wait. They didn't add anything new this year, did they? Don't believe so. I know, just updated trinkets, nothing like... Yeah, nothing nothing fun and fancyful. And it's I mean, apparently basic. somehow uh, Voldren is making speeches alongside um, Farouk. Well, isn't he a Loa? Don't they, can't they speak from beyond the Loa realm? No, we don't know anything about his rare bounce at the moment until 8.1, we actually talked to him. Well, spoiler be that as it may, I feel like, I don't really know. I don't have a comment on that because I, I haven't, I've been trying to avoid some of the story stuff just because I enjoyed yeah. going into BFA without a lot of the spoiler stuff, but I feel like now my curiosity is a little peaked, so I might have to. Uh, mm -hmm. The weekly event for next week's reset is going to be Arena Skirm, so go find a partner, do -si do go do things, and guys, if you randomly queue for Skirms and you run across a Destruction Warlock, can you not automatically leave? because that's your partner because that hurts my feelings a little bit just want you to know warlocks have feelings guys hey yeah. Belle. um yeah uh would you like to be my two-step partner uh <laughs> wow. was just my last bell <laughs> uh, before we queued up <laughs> wow <laughs> like i said my left nut and my right nut mm. Beautiful. which one of us hangs lower <laughs> well one's a little bit bigger than the other <laughs> And I don't know if that's intentional, but it just is what it is. <laughs> Maybe I use my strong hand. Two points to whoever can name that movie. Uh, the PvP brawl next week is going to be the Deep Wind Dunk. Not on my list of favorites as far as brawls are concerned, but I think this is like one of Jimma's favorite. I don't even know if Jimma even... I mean, if he played the game, sure. I, so I want to make a quick shout out to you, Jimma, because you are family and because i love you and because i can say this without you being offended how are you gonna comment on twitter being pissed off there's no murloc pet and you ain't even fucking playing <laughs> right we are out here the three of us in the trenches every day doing god's work and here you are on twitter bitching about some shit you don't even see because you don't even have a sub right now or maybe you do i don't know he doesn't i'm gonna need you to get your shit together then okay there's no murlocs pogo i don't know why he's wasted his time there <sighs> It's true. We can't help him, though. Also, Dark uh, Can we do a quick uh, PSA? Of course you can. <laughs> uh, that's a cool mug there, Murky. Where did you get that? Oh, I know. This amazing Blizzard World Murloc mug. I bought that at GameStop for like 10 bucks. I'm going there after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I it's my new show mug. I appreciate that plug. I feel like sometimes I want us all to drink out of coffee mugs so that we could be like... Right? Like, that's why I bought him. That's why I kept on trying to buy teacups. But, like, I always wonder when you watch those shows, is there really coffee in them? Or is it just water? Because oh, they're like pretending. when, like, Jim, uh, Jim Fallon or something? When they yeah, like, is it really coffee? Oh, some of them actually... <laughs> there you go. I thought you just poured it in your lap. Holy crap. <laughs> that would have been, been more impressive. That would have been great. That scared me a little bit. Um, that was really scary. You really have to watch the whole show to get the experience. It's true. If you guys are listening to this on audio, it, I hope we are able to translate the funny that happens in a normal fashion. I hope so. Um, Marky just poured that drink in his lap. In Listen. his 
Yeah, they do owe us for advertising, by the way, guys. We're kind of strong in that. And then, yeah. The only thing we are going to, like, we're taking sponsorships. So if you want to sponsor us, we will give you our Snapchats. Mm-hmm. We'll mm-hmm. give you our snap. We'll give you access to our Snapchats. <laughs> so- and if you want to give us free food and in exchange for advertising, I'm I'm totally down. Well, yeah. I've been adding people free from the show this week. It's see now what you do is you go like, oh hey, by the way, you owe me a buck fifty. No, no, no. But now if you want my premium, oh, there is a premium with his Snapchat. I I am intrigued and aroused and weirded out at the same time by what just occurred it's kind of it's interesting also guys dark moon fair starts the seventh next week go get your 10 percent experience go get your 10 percent reputation here's the thing about that though guys i'm gonna be super honest i don't feel like that 10 percent really matters a whole lot and i know this is not the popular opinion right because everybody in the universe on the internet Google machine tells you that you should use, you know, you should take advantage. But I just don't feel like what I go through to get there and get the hats or get you ride the carousel. I just don't feel like it is worth it. I mean, if you have the hats, it is. But going back and forth, it's essentially having a small contract on you. For the rep, at least. I just, I don't know, guys. I, you squirrel a lot, so you lose a lot of benefit out of it. That's I'm why I'm about right here. Yeah, that's why it doesn't but work even, for you for raining. Like, or I, or I, it there's is. been times when, like, Rem has forced me to not squirrel, and we've, like, we've done things with the rep, with the experience buff, and I just feel like for all the hassle I have to go through to go back there, come back, stop what I'm doing, do the cha-cha, flip the hamburgers, add the cheese, it just doesn't mm. make... Well, well, that's like what I'm saying. Inefficient. If you're going back and forth, it's not really worth it unless you want to like use it on top of something else, or you just use it for that one and then go back every now and then. But if you have the hats, it's worth it. You, the the main trip is to buy the hats and to keep yourself out in the field working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take your guys' word for it, only because I've been slightly grumpy for the last couple of days. But well, we're team notice. try hard. We know this. I know you guys are team try hard, and I I'm trying really hard. Luckily, the show always pulls me out of my grumpy mood, so it's really. Although I seem to have misplaced my alcohol, sadly, <gasps> it hurts me. I haven't. You got lemonade. Yeah, it hurts all of me. So I might try to like sneak away during somebody's mm. segment um, to do that. But let's talk about hot fixes. Uh, Rochambeau, Murky. I am only naming hot fixes that matter to me. And oh. the only reason I'm doing that is because <laughs> <You cheated. laughs> these guys, man, they say ice squirrel. That's weird. Well, we're playing Rochambeau for who's going to be left and thrown the segment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, guys, in regards to hot fixes, I need you to stop what you're doing and just listen to what I'm about to tell you. Captain Crackers can now well, sit on your one. shoulders. <laughs> Seriously, it's like Blizzard heard me. It's like they heard my plea and You're they're like head. they're like, Belle, we're gonna give you whatever you want because you fucking deserve it. Because I did complain, like I got I bought Captain Crackers because I'm a fucking pirate right now, guys. That's my immersion. And well, and you're a cracker as well, so it's a double whammy. I know. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like we just offended some white people, but the good news is I'm white, so we're gonna be okay. But I'm so no, happy. You're Italian. Am I the only one that's happy that Captain Crackers now, like, you can whistle and he comes and sits on your shoulder? Am I the only one? I'm the only one in the whole I mean, fucking it's, world. I'm it's, the only it's one. cool, but I'm not gonna. Go for it. That's because I think what, you're a fake ass pirate. That's why. <laughs> I'm not a natural pirate. Costume. I'm not a butt pirate, Bell. God, I'm not, not what the rumors not say. Me. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not what the rumors and or the text messages say. But um, what were you I, gonna I say, think it's, I was say I think it's neat. Like I remember when they added it so that a cat sits on your lap. Like that was a whole game changer for creativeness and and this role play world with your pets but i feel like the bird should have had that when it came out already at this point because we already have the peaty little pet that sits on your shoulder for pirate day so no i 100 percent agree i think blizzard mm-hmm. missed uh i think they missed the off factor in releasing this and charging people for it right they had an opportunity mm-hmm. here like it didn't matter a parrot's a parrot Give me a sloth pet that can sit on my back then i might be oh happy. that would be cool 
isn't hmm. that what your girlfriend does, or is that not the same? <laughs> oh, shit. No? No. That's what I do to that my husband, so I just... <laughs> I just, like, that's what I do with my husband, so I just make an assumption there. No? Okay. No. <laughs> more like a koala than a sloth. Koala tea? So more like a koala then. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. We're gonna have to. So this is the bear that sits on his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. I think they missed. I think they missed an opportunity there. But honestly, Shit, we missed an animation. We're gonna charge him two more bucks. <laughs> is that what they did? I hope not. No, 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 no. I think it's gonna be all right though. Like even if they miss it, you know, sometimes guys they don't always get it in the hole the first time. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it just takes one extra try or maybe two extra tries. More than three, though, I'm going to need you to get on your bike and pedal because I don't have time for that. So <laughs> just saying. Um, oh, guys, this one made me rage a little bit. AFK players. The <laughs> second you're AFK, you're automatically removed from the warfront. But you aren't or you will? You are. As soon as the in-game uh, AFK title turns on on you, you're booted. Can I tell you? You know how you uh, get past that, Bo? Uh, you, you type slash camp in the chat and does it put you AFK? Listen, I'm mildly annoyed. And I'm going to tell you why. What happens if one night I eat bad tacos and I'm in the middle of a war front, which is, you know, it's not super long, but it's, you know, it's lengthy. What if I got the flaming poos? You run the risk of ruining those pants. You sat there. You're here for the long haul. Yeah, I guess uh, so. Auto run into a wall or something. I, I feel like then I'm going to get banned for macros or what are bots, whatever the fuck. No? No. Here's the thing. I okay. understand why they're doing it. I appreciate it. And I respect the fact that Blizzard is making sure that people just can't randomly AFK in there. But honestly, guys, this seems a little ridiculous to me. Because sometimes I will be actively there and it will put me in L AFK. And I don't know why. It's kind of weird, actually. I think you have an issue with your game. You tabbed out and scrolled. Maybe, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like there should be a countdown, maybe X amount of seconds after. I guess you could say it'd be the final countdown for you kicked. Oh, God, you're bad. That was just terrible. Terrible. More uh, class adjustments have been rolled out, and I think there's, I think they have a few left still to do. <sighs> but guys, Destro got a small little ten percent damage increase across three of their spells. Ten percent is ten percent. So well, ten percent is ten percent. So like, I'm happy that they're, you know, doing something. But I just, I don't know. Are they your three most used spells? Like Yeah, but it feels like I don't know. I I don't know enough to know if I'm I'm happy they're doing something, so like something's better than nothing. But right. I don't know. I don't know. They are um, doing lots of changes for PvP, PvE, the whole nine. They're still doing some um random boss tuning in raid. Lots of little kind of tweaks and tunes all over the place. So definitely, mm -hmm. you know something they didn't nerf so i guess i can't complain right because nerfing's the problem right i mean it's not a flat out 10 percent buff to warlocks but i mean you're doing pretty good in the the raids here you're up there on the charts so that'll equate to a huge chunk i'm upgrade. up there on the charts by default because there's only 15 of us i was gonna say hitting halfway doesn't mean you're hitting them <laughs> <laughs> i was giving her credit guys <laughs> it could be worse though I talk up my raid team, not talk down. I know he. I talk. I talk up the healers, the Rem's DPS, fend for their own. <laughs> Rem's a dick. So, uh, some quick news. Hmm. I just want to make sure we take a second and have a moment of silence for hmm. the lack of Murloc for the in-game goodies. R.I.P. Hmm. Murloc. They had a real unique opportunity here to do like a Sour Fang Murloc or. I was going to say a Jaina Murloc, but then I think it would just look like a gremlin, so maybe <laughs> not. Maybe a pirate Murloc. But yeah, well, yeah, like, they missed a huge opportunity here with the Murloc. Old God Murloc, they could have had a variety of them. There was so much. Yeah. And I have something to say, but before I say that, their in-game items we got is a Horde cloak and an Alliance cloak. 
and then a horde banner and an alliance banner. If you um, if you have the virtual ticket or if you have the, you know, if you're actually physically going to BlizzCon, you also get, of course, the demo, the classic demo. They're going to let you play World of Warcraft classic demo. Live attendees will be able to play it on the floor. Virtual ticket holders will be able to uh, have access to like a limited. So what you're saying is I paid $200 to get a demo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let me tell you about that. And it's funny that you transitioned into that. So here it comes, guys. Now, I want to preface this. I even had to put chapstick on to make sure that my voice didn't go dry halfway through this monologue that's about to happen. Rant, oh monologue, whatever the case may be. I'll be back. But, so, I've seen lots of shit on Twitter complaining about uh, people getting to play the demo of classic and having to pay 50 bucks for that or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's crying about the Murloc. I agree, guys. I 100% agree that, you know, Blizzard set that expectation for a Murloc. And, you know, I'm a little disappointed. But I want to hit you guys with some reality here because I think throughout time as we go, we become so s entitled to what we think should be ours or what we think we should be getting that I want to make sure that you guys are aware of what you're paying for when you purchase the actual BlizzCon ticket to physically go or the virtual ticket. I am not upset that I would need to pay 50 bucks for a virtual ticket in order to be able to play a demo of Classic. You want to know why? Because that's not why I'm buying the fucking virtual ticket. The virtual ticket is just exactly what it says it is. It is for the virtual ticket. For you to have an in-home, no pants, maybe not even any fucking underwear, for you to have that experience. Crying about it. Oh, I could go play on a private server and not have to pay 50 bucks. Well, guess what? Get on your fucking bike and pedal, bitch, because nobody needs your money. The second part of that. Everybody complaining about the how dare them not have this for the in-game goodies. Here's the thing. We can be disappointed that Blizzard didn't give us what we would have liked, right? But again, I hate to be the bearer of fucking reality here, but correct me if where I'm wrong. I don't think any of us that are going to BlizzCon purchased the ticket with the digital goodies in mind. I didn't spend $207.00 plus the other money I'm about to spend for the in-game goodies. That's just an extra. It's an addition I mean, to that's that. That's the only reason I go. Right, the for the in-game goodies. Of the in-game goodies, yeah. I mean, right. I only go for the physical goodies. So, <laughs> all of okay. you that I, I just you. pissed okay. off because you're crying about something that you have really no business crying about, I need you to just take a step back for a moment and realize that Blizzard isn't running a fucking charity. They're a business. They answer to shareholders. They answer to more than just you and I crying because we don't have I mean, a Murloc pet or... Everyone's a little narcissistic, but this whole argument with uh, we have to pay 50 bucks is pretty... It's the epitome of narcissism because it's like, oh, we didn't get to do this for free or mm -hmm. something stupid like that. So it's, like, it's me, 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 me. Let's be real. If you are just buying the virtual ticket so that you can demo classic wow you should probably maybe consider your life choices and <laughs> maybe this game is not for you i gotta be 100 percent real here because it's a fucking demo of classic that by the way still isn't here we're living in the now we're in bfa guys Get the fuck over yourselves and quit crying about how Blizzard, Blizzard's doing this and Blizzard's doing that. Guys, Blizzard didn't do anything wrong whatsoever. It's the same thing with the actual physical goodies for BlizzCon. It was a little disappointing, I won't lie. And we can say that it's disappointing and we could be frustrated that we feel like these motherfuckers went to the goddamn dollar store because they're Ooh. on a budget this year. Like we could feel frustrated about that. But to go to the forums and to post on Twitter and to go through all this like nonsense the kind of think about it is over the top you know? nonsense because again the physical free okay guys free the physical free things that we get as ticket holders i don't buy the fucking ticket for the dollar store goodies i don't do that that's not the reason i go 
priorities here and a little bit of perspective is really, really needed because I got to tell you, it it's even people that I've seen on Twitter that I respect. And I'm just like, I guess we can't be friends anymore. Like, I'm going to need to not be friends with you because, like, honestly, we just need to, we need to just chill back and understand what you're buying. You're buying the virtual ticket so that you can have the BlizzCon experience. You're not buying it for any other <clears throat> reason. So anything you get in addition to buying that, great. You won. I'm not spending 150 bucks to buy to go to BlizzCon and then an additional 50 on the virtual goodies and the ticket. And the second thing about that is, is I didn't read all into the classic demo that you're going to be able to play, but I think the window on it is very small itself. It's a demo. It's not the alpha or the beta version. Yeah, they at least said it's a zone. Like it's, you're going to spawn in Northshire and walk to Goldshire and be, there, woohoo, there. I did this in classic. Yeah, you, know, you can watch me do it on Twitch TV. I'll play for you. You tell me what you want to see. I'll make that content for you. Uh, I don't want to see what I... I want to see something on another... <laughs> and I, that, that's, that. I have one final thing to say. <laughs> In addition to all these Twitter people that are like, I could just go play private servers for free. Oh. Why the fuck are you on the forums crying about you want classic WoW then? Go to your private server, pack your shit and get the fuck on. Like nobody wants you here anyway. Honestly, like you wanna live in the past, that's cool. That's great for those that are really stoked about going and doing everything the hard way. You can't go back to fucking caveman days after you've had electricity, guys. Nobody understands that, but we'll let that shit show occur when I mean, it happens. I mean, it's so easy, a caveman could do it. So. Well, I'm just throwing that out there. Like it's great, but I just, my final point here is most people buy the virtual ticket with their battle net balance from their gold that they buy the tokens from in the auction house. In fact, I know several people who don't actually use cash. They use gold. Quit your fucking bitching. Put on your ugly cloak. Run around with your fucking ugly ass banner. Cause I'm I not, like that banner. I banner like it. is actually nice. I, I like, like it. Him. I just, you know. I think it's great and it's cool and I'll use it because why not? It's free. But I just want to make sure that we are upset for the right reasons. Be upset because your class is nerfed. To be upset because you wiped a million fucking times because a uh, boss is overtuned. Whatever. Be upset for many reasons. But don't be upset because Blizzard's a business and they're not bending to your will because they're not supposed to. Like, you're not even their real dad. <sighs> One, one person posted on Twitter, I am a shareholder. With your little 12 <laughs> shares, get the fuck out of here. <sighs> anyway, okay, that's over and done with. So, it's ridiculous. Don't pay $50 to play a demo. Guys, pay $50 so that you could watch the BlizzCon experience and not miss out on it. And really, on demand, I think people forget how awesome that is to be able to not have to be locked into a certain time those two days when you get the virtual ticket, you can mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. Well, even for the people that go, I still use the virtual ticket to watch all the stuff that either I missed or B, I'm waiting in line somewhere. I agree. Or I don't want to get out of bed, so I'm watching stuff. You physically the... can't see at all, so. I agree. But it's amazing. Uh, also, for Warfronts, Horde is uh, in the rotation for contribution, so if you are Horde, I need you to get on Alliance level here because Alliance level was like. Where would we done in a... Like four days. Yeah, like it was super quick. Sick. But I feel like I don't want to unjustly insult anybody that's Horde. I feel like we're just getting our footing. So, you know, maybe there's a little bit of a learning curve for people to realize what it is they need to do. Because I stupidly mm -hmm. thought when it was our turn that I could only do one of those quest givers. And then I was like... You could do one of each. Yeah, you could do one of each. So, But I thought you had to just pick one of all of them. And that was just stupidity on my part. But, you know, I think we're making it happen. But if you're Horde, listen, it's your responsibility to help your faction because you're not going to win this war if you can't even... I mean, even if you don't resources. need it, each one gives you, what, 500 AP? So, I mean... That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it's still AP, never mind. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that what it, AP? Is that what we're calling it? No, it's it's AP again. Well, because it's like Azerite power, right? Power. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Uh -huh. I like that banner, though. That's a good banner. Yeah. I want to 
talk about another item on my what the fuck agenda because literally like some of the stuff that I've seen on the internet this last week has been a what the fuck. So Murky mentions to me yesterday about uh, the island expeditions and how this article was posted that uh, there may or that there is a, a rhyme and reason to what you get drop wise from these expeditions, right? We all know from these expeditions, you get pets, you get I, isn't the one of the parrot mounts pets. from yeah no. No. amounts pets and items that give you AP Toys yeah and... you get all kinds of stuff and it's random however I'm gonna say this with a grain of salt and I I thought about not saying this because you have to be really careful even though I don't really care you still have to be really careful because whatever here's the thing so this article that was posted this article says because we found a pattern this is how how the article reads is how drops and chances for uh island expedition items work now when you read that title your assumption is wow these guys know what's going on or maybe there was a blue post whatever the case may be well right, right below they said theory so i mean they contradict their own headline yeah, because that's but it called. Wasn't in the title. It wasn't in the title, but that's clickbait. We all know what clickbait is. Like, I'm gonna start doing clickbait. Wait, there's a bunch of single ladies looking for me in my area. <laughs> right, like my Russian bride is ready. Fuck yeah, I'm on my way. Can that bitch cook? Cause I'm starving. Seriously though. So. Seriously, though, can't you cook? <laughs> what annoyed me about this, and the reason I'm bringing this up, is because it's very important for those of you who are not as. <sighs> hip on knowledge or or know the the resources or know how to read something that isn't a blue post and i always say that unless it's blue it is hearsay and it is guessing and it is we don't fucking know because well, i don't though, I, just, I went to derek Zaylander's school for kids who can't read good well no. you should be reading it at least at second grade level if you went to his school then right no on the good days so this article says basically whatever you kill rare wise will be the item subject matter that will drop yeah, so right? it was like the the parrot mount will will drop if you kill the pirates that are on the island the quill and stuff might drop it gives you a higher chance or gives you the chance if you kill the mogu that are <clears throat> up on the island which is you can't confirm anything like that because even if you do kill them or not kill them it's still the same chance in my opinion Mm -hmm. Well, not to mention that it was like, oh, we have a whole month of data from one individual. Well, aren't you fucking special that that one person try harded enough to get data? What does your fucking data mean? Show me a blind pick of 50 players that you chose to pull their data on then. Give me a blind pick of 100 players. Yeah, on... no, if, you were, if you're pulling data from every single player in the right. game for that month, then okay. Oh, somebody but... said Google Excel sheet. Here's all the kills right here. <laughs> yeah, like... My problem, and this is the reason it bothered me, is because I don't know, I don't remember exactly what Murky said to me, but he probably thought it was real. I, I took it with a grain of salt because if an article was up, there would be at least a blue confirmation yeah. in... I was kind of jimmy it was just speculations. And, mm -hmm. and, and speculation is great. And it's great to potentially but have a pattern. But don't make it seem like that. What happened is this reads very much like, guys, we know for sure that this is the way that it is. And I'm irritated mm -hmm. at the irresponsible article and the journalism in general here. Am I surprised? Not so much. But I'm irritated that it was even defended. So people said in the comments, yo, like... What data do you have to support this theory? One person does not a statistic make. And they were like, oh, well, they did a whole month of data. Don't get on here and fucking defend your bullshit on the internet because you literally clickbaited people. Because what makes me sad about it is those that don't know what to read into or, you know, those that kind of read stuff and take that for what it is and believe that, that that's what's happening. Then they go and tell somebody else. Then they go and tell somebody else. And then all of a sudden... You know, Trump is fucking Everybody's president. losing expeditions because we're only farming pirate right, mobs. Right, right. So... Sneaky Pete! <laughs> this really was for those that <laughs> don't really know, like, what to look for, what to read, what to pay attention to. Unless it is in blue or 
it's been data mined in the sense of we've pulled this from a table. We pulled the loot table here and we see that there's X, Y, and Z here. Just make sure you don't take that as the word of the gods and go and then spew that wrong information to everybody because this is how stupidity spreads. And this really upset me. And it, I don't know why it upset me so much. I think I just... I, well, it's misdirection. Yeah, yeah, I felt like... At the stature you're at, you should fucking know better than to let this garbage be on the internet like that. If anything, it should have said potential or, you know, something. But I guess that's not what got the clicks, right? But here's the larger problem here is this pissed people off. People now are like, oh, okay, so fake news. Uh, you are fake news. So fake news. I want to set the record straight that there is no data to support that. There's one individual, one person who has been running things and he's connected X with Y, but we don't know about all the filler stuff and all the other things. If you feel like you want to target things, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in an expedition, I don't got time for all that. I'm going to go murder all the birds. Yeah, for that I just, I'm going to kill everything. I'm going to go do things and we're just <laughs> going to do shit, stuff and junk and beat the game. Yeah, I'll go ask Dada on the Enterprise. <laughs> I should go to Skyhold and see what speculation there is about what Blizz wants to do with my Prot Warrior. <laughs> yeah, like maybe Skyhold would have the answers. Uh, um, the answer is re-roll. It's seven. Arms. So I feel like what we should do is we should just make a magic eight ball and that could be the answers because I feel like it's more informative than the garbage that I had the pleasure of reading. The answer is unclear. <laughs> and it was funny because... So there's times when I actively listen and then I really actively listen. I was semi-actively listening. So when I went to bed, I pulled, like, I looked up what he was talking about because I thought, well, if there's any truth to this, like, I want to go get this damn parrot. Then I read it and was like, wow, okay, not so much. So we don't know. We have no confirmation unless this has been updated since then. Um, we have no idea. We assume. It's an assumption. Assuming gets me in trouble. So. Kill all the things, guys. Unless you have a lot of time on your hands and you could just back to back go in and do stuff, handle your scandal. But if you're With like their me, caliber of popularity, you think somebody by now would have made a comment or not like, yeah, you're right. Or yeah, no. there is some accuracy to it or something. Yeah. Yeah, there would be. Yeah, I don't know if Blizzard's officially commented on it. Um, I don't know. But you should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm always ashamed. Not you, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm ashamed after. I'm treading carefully, but you should be ashamed of yourselves because that's embarrassing for you as a professional company. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, yeah, I see things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would that hope. That, I don't know. <sighs> Guys. Yes. Yeah. I just want to tell you that I feel like even this far in, I feel like this expansion is moving right along. I feel like there's been a solid delivery. There's issues just like with any expansion, but I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy minus some like little things here or there. Do you guys the, concur? The, I think it's wrong. Do you concur, doctor? I don't Doctor. have a degree. Doctor, do you concur? No. No, no one got the reference. Anyways, no, uh, there is a, there's I, a lot. I, you've never seen Catch Me If You Can? Wow. You know, is that the one with Tom Hanks? Yes. And, uh, yeah. It's like I watched it once, but. It's so good. Uh, anyways, the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, and the cons is like, it's like a small handful just because the RNG uh, the whole Warfront tobacco without any information. Otherwise, I'm. This is what, like I said, I, that's still one of my favorite expansions. We're out of the honeymoon phase, I would say so, and I'm still, I'm still having fun. What yeah, about my, you, Mark? My my tryhardiness. Uh, there's still always something to do that keeps me active and involved. I haven't had tryhardy. Yeah, my tryhardiness. <laughs> uh, 
it's it's kept me active. I haven't had the need to roll an alt. I want to roll an alt, but I always I don't feel overwhelmed. I just feel like there's a lot of different things I could do when I'm getting bored of X. I can go do Y. Yeah, you can still remain productive without you know, mm-hmm. like being like, oh, this is a necessity kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with you, but I also want to tell you that I think it's okay to not be on your main all the time at this point. Mm-hmm. You're raiding. So I can bring my hunter? <laughs> no. But I'm saying, like, we're raiding. Um, you know, we're doing our daily monotonous to-do list of reputation and, you know, all those things. I think it's okay for you to, at this point, we're a month in. I think it's okay for you to not be doing all the things. I think people forget that we don't have to constantly farm for Azerite power. Right. That's. It isn't that big a, of a deal. It it really isn't. And if yeah, um, on that note about the Azerite power, there is forums and threads about people complaining about oh, I replaced this Azerite piece and now I have to level up more Azerite power. I mean that you're right, but the same. Point, like you only really need the first ring everything else is just an additional thing you it's not as needed as tier sets or anything like that it's just it's a it's constant on the cake. progression of improvement yeah. there's nothing wrong with that but no people are crying about as right items and i'm actually thoroughly in love with them but if we so. hit the the progression wall and capped out two weeks in we'd be bored out of our minds with our one yeah character. it's constant mm-hmm. evolving without having to um fuck last expansion we couldn't swap pieces out because we couldn't break a set or because we couldn't break the legendary like pick a fucking stance and stand on it and quit fucking crying about dumb shit seriously it's like this week has been ridiculous rem is 100 percent right well some people saying it's 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 such a pain in the ass to get the as right um pieces but on that same note like both my hunter and my priest have what do you mean it's a pain in the ass i have like nine of them on, of what each I'm, one that's what i'm pointing towards like both of my tunes have equivalent to being what a good trait is yeah. on my pieces and i'm not hurting at all for what people are crying about i don't know and i don't think your dps or your heals or your tanking is going to make or break because of one Azerite trait. Because of one Azerite trait. Granted, you'll probably feel a difference in something you could do if you swap something out. You no, know, there's a small but, bump, but yeah, no, it's it's not like a something to kill people over. It like isn't like right being now. the only guy on the raid team with a level 15 artifact weapon and everybody else is in the 20s, right? It isn't the power difference and the uh, little things that it gives you in utility or... Uh, the actual traits, yeah, but having an 840 compared to an 8 set or a 370 then that's like that's mm-hmm. only that's how it should be though cuz item level but yeah and i want stuff that gets better as we go mhm i like swapping stuff out it's it feels good to upgrade it might feel like you're you're backsliding but you just have to kind of change your thinking a little bit because it isn't backsliding you just have to think of like What's the word here? One step here? forward, one step back. It's like, so the prestige system, how it so was supposed to work before we pandered to all the fucking crybabies, <laughs> right? So originally, if you chose to prestige, you had to start over with your talents, right? I thought it yep. was a great idea because, cool, you get, you know, you sacrifice and you gain later. But what kind are you Kind of think of it like everything. <laughs> but kind of think of it like that. You're sacrificing your traits for a higher item level and you know but they want their shit given to them that's the issue it just i got this piece why are not all the traits unlocked because i don't even know either way i'm i'm sick and tired of all the crying and how cool it is to hate on things I quit looking at the forums as right this as oh no it's, it's it's humorous until i see someone say something stupid i'm like Kind of punch you in the throat. It feels like people don't know how it works, and it feels like I feel like that's a common you. issue, though. <laughs> but it feels like well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> could help us hard to find. That's self-starting, but like, <laughs> am I right, boys? Am I right? <laughs> you're right. You're right. Um, I just I it gets me crazy, a little bit crazy, because I feel like people just don't understand, and instead of 
testing it, right? What do I always say? Before you freak out or before you say, oh, this, this, and this, test it. Put some data behind it. Put some numbers behind it. Well, if you're swapping yeah, Azurite pieces, saying. it should be for a higher item level, correct? Or for a better trait that you got on maybe the same item level gear. You should never yeah, that's swap. That's what I was saying for lower. what Soulfate said. Yeah, it's the item item level is what you want to aim for. Yeah. Don't focus so much on itemizing the traits more so. I mean, unless it's like literally there are some bad traits, but it's not that hard to replace it. You'll in get my that same piece two days later and boom, magic. I literally have three or four of the same of all three sets or all three pieces in my bag. Mm -hmm. So it's not that big of a deal. They're all relatively the same item level. In fact, two of them are the same item level for my shoulders. Just That's weird. I, I rarely get as right trait or as right pieces. So I'm still rolling the uh, 340 shoulders. I got a, a Siege Boralis since uh, 120. So your luck is just way better than mine because I can't find better. Well, I also don't have like heroic raid level just yet. I mean, either I'm still rolling 340 shoulders. Like they're the ones I hit. Yeah, that's his last 340 piece. Though. I did get lucky with a few uh, <laughs> upgrades in the world. Yeah. You did. <laughs> a 365 right ticket. <laughs> I got a 370 oh, wand. Do you want it? Do you want a what? wand? I heard you needed a wand. No? Oh, I have three of the same wands. Plus oh, I got a 371 for you, too. I am a little frustrated that the wand seems to be the only thing I could get a high item level of because it's. I am a little annoyed that they... I've been ex so excited for this weapon situation, and I can't be Here's a fucking <laughs> pirate waving a fucking wand. Like, who's going to stealthily go in to, like rob people of their money in their houses and their little bunks as a pirate or on the sea whatever whatever um, pirate i choose why to be. he be a slytherin who is gonna do that and wave their fucking wand like i need to go in there slicing and dicing not fucking bibbity bobbity booing <laughs> <laughs> that's you my only you complaint think harry potter like that's you my gotta only go complaint. With Guardian Levial Song. I was so excited about weapons that I'm really sad that they keep shoving. Like, the only thing I could get anything good item level wise is wands. I'm a little, I'm mm -hmm. a little frustrated about that. Well, but I, I, there are some uses with the wand. Like, I didn't. Akio Bomb and all that. Oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> you should be embarrassed <laughs> because that joke was bad. <sighs> but I want the swords, please. Like, yeah, like I and the wands are so short. That's what she said. And that's what she meant, too, because it's real. But like, it just makes me sad. Compared to the rest of America, it's normal. OK, <laughs> yeah, that's what they say, though, <laughs> you know, but I feel like that's the only complaint I have really is. They just keep, like, forcing me with these wands. And the <laughs> upgrade stuff that I've been getting everywhere is not haste. It's versatility. And I've resolved myself to the fact that maybe Blizzard has decided that haste is just not as important as we think it is. Maybe there's a secret formula going on in the background and fucking SpongeBob's hiding the Krabby Patty recipe that says that <laughs> versatility is going to save us all. I don't know, but I am... I mean, yes, you know Krabby Patty's main recipe is plankton. The one. No, it's just, it's just, it's just, technically, it's versatility. I feel like there was a dirty joke in there somewhere. Probably. I think I missed it. Though. I was reading the chat, so I lost it. I apologize. Yeah, there was a dirty joke in there somewhere. We missed we missed a good opportunity, but that's okay. Um, How do you feel about the raid not having any haste weapons except for a dagger? I think we're too hastily jumping to conclusions. I hate you. I have this theory, I and I want to know if, what you guys think. So, with this expansion, it seems to be really fucked up with itemization in general, and with them failing to provide the stats that we need more of because we've left it up to the RNG gods, which, I mean, I think we had this talk last year. Guys, the RNG gods are a fucking lie, right? These guys can't even, like... Well, like I, I mentioned on the forums and on our Discord, the oh, my only gripe uh, for BFA, honestly, like, it's like a main ish issue, is the RNG. Well, I want to I wanna pose a question, and then we'll lead into some uh, additional story here. Uh-huh. 
I was thinking about this this morning and I was taking my morning poo. You guys know how I do. Taking my morning poo. Get the selfie. <clears throat> handling my business. That's when I get my best ideas. I've already had my coffee. And I was thinking, what would be this purpose? Because I know Blizzard knows what's important stats for gear. I know Blizzard knows that. You know Blizzard knows that. These guys are... I, I would hope so. They tune the stuff. Yeah, like they're relatively capable. I know that these guys would also know that shit is going to hit the fucking fan when we as players do not get what we need or we have to fight longer than we should to get what we need, right? Once we start getting into raid tiers, the gear should be coming to me in the stats in which I fucking need it. Because that's what raiding is, right? Raiding is to get you I mean, you yeah, like, the first stats. raid is always awkward, though. Well, I have a theory. Oh, my is this fact or opinion? No, it's a, this is fact, guys. Or opinion. Sorry, not fact. This is opinion. <laughs> so please do not, you know, there's no clickbait here. here. Come on. I feel like, what if, what if this was by design? To make you do by, that. What's the, the, if it's to design, what's the design intention? To make us continuously work. More involvement in Mythic runs and hoping that RNG is better. Correct. I mean, I enjoy Mythic Keystones, but on right. that note, for me personally, I just need my eye level. I don't care about balancing stats. Yeah, you don't, but those of us that need it because we have a five fucking minute Chaos Bolt, we care because every percent matters for stats. But what I'm saying just, is, what if my... this is by design? What if this is to avoid people burning out at the very beginning of the expansion? What but does that is... contradict itself? It'd burn you out trying to get the right item. I mean, you guys are still try harding it up, so clearly you aren't burned out yet. She's I mean, right because you play a year pace in Mythics versus mm -hmm. queuing, you know, waiting for a guild day and twenty people log online and you go raid. So, but I had that epiphany this morning, and I thought, what if this was, and th this could be why maybe they're not really commenting on it because it's a. It's a hot topic. I've tweeted to them 20 fucking times and was like, want to buy haste? Can somebody tell me where the haste maker's at? Like, <laughs> do you need any mats to make my haste? But I, in thinking about that, I wonder if this was by design to avoid tryhards in the first week having everything that they want to need and then there being nothing to move forward except maybe pushing some higher level keys. Perhaps it's Blizzard's way of pacing us out just a little bit so that we don't get the best of the best right away. That's just the so thought. Flood it with versatility so that we do other stuff. To I get, don't know. Not get versatility. There could be a larger thing there, guys. Like I said, I've been thinking about why they would do this because I know they know. Like this isn't a oops thing, right? Where they just oops somebody fucked up the loot table before we hit we hit the big red button. This oh, feels. Oh, I thought they randomized all the. It feels yeah. very. It feels very much like this was intentional. Did we just get a sub? Oh, I thought we just got a subscribe. It was just the Moobot macro. Well, I got the new soundboard, the button. Oh, for with the, the video and everything? I didn't do the video. I just did the oh. audio because I need Murky to do his. But I did so that when somebody subs, I could push the button. Um. Anyway, so I got excited for nothing. But it does <laughs> It does feel intentional. And I don't know if I could even be correct on the reason. I, I would venture to say that it is intentional. There could be, they might be... Maybe they're, they plan on making huge stat changes later and they're prepping us for it. I don't actually know. I don't know. But it does feel intentional and it does feel like either they're saving us from them, us from ourselves or maybe they're waiting to the very first raid. Um, because the every three month content that they do with the patches, that did a really good job. Except then they started running out of the evergreen content patches and they started just throwing kind of like random shit in there. And everybody was like, God, I can't wait for 7.3.5. And then it was just some bullshit, updating models and some other stuff. Okay, so, so on that note, uh, no patch will be less filled than the selfie camera. So <laughs> any patch they do after that is good. Okay? Right. And I think, uh, you know, Necro, that's a, that is a good observation because just doing stuff on the monk, I get haste when I need crit. 
So I do know that it exists in nature and I know that it exists in the world, but I just wanted to put that out there and see what you guys thought. And, you know, I think if... So you're running with the idea that the raid itself drops not the best gear, but just adequate gear to play the game, but you want, they want their focus on Mythics more. No, I want they like, want their is, focus on not having the best of the best for that tier so that they go into another tier. I don't know. Like, this is just a, you know, if I was them, I'm trying to think, well, why would I where's intentionally... Where's my aluminum foil? Why would I intentionally screw up itemization? Because I, it's openly bad. I mean, mm -hmm. it's openly bad. And with the click of a button, they could fix it. It's really easy for them to do. One cascades down copy. to the other. Pays the yeah. So speaking of cascade, I miss that priest talent. I just feel and and you know it's funny necro because you know even though Destro needs mastery, we are about that haste life. We're, well, it's the same loot table. What is? Oh, he's saying change your loot spec to affliction. That would be hilarious. I'd get a screen. Oh yeah, no, it, but it is the same. It's <laughs> it all shares the same. You know, it, they all paint with the several colors and same colors of the wind but i do think that it, it might be a little bit intentional and the only reason that i wanted to bring that up was so that we could generate a discussion so those of you that are listening or watching send an email i did get an email from uh somebody who i will respond to on the show because it was too lazy to type back not for any other reason other than i'm tired but uh comment tell me what you think and you know with that idea in mind is it a bad thing or is it not a bad thing? Do you feel like, tell me what you feel about it. Because I do feel sometimes that we do need to be saved from ourselves. Especially given my current try hard situation with my friends. Like, I feel like this saves them from themselves because. Friend, duh. Duh. You're a try hard. <laughs> you try hard with me, boy. It's, it's boy. quite possible. But I got to be really honest. Boy. This late in the game for them to not have it optimized for classes, I would really hope that that isn't the case. And this could be the positive in me, right? Choosing to, um, you know, give the benefit of the doubt that there was a, a, but a greater purpose. But it is optimized for classes because there's crit haste, there's crit mastery, there's haste mastery. You just have to pinpoint exactly what you're aiming for. Um, because the gear just exists. Just The do gear it. exists because... I have classes that get it that don't need it. So the gear exists. It's there. It's there. It's in it's dungeons. Not it's not going to the, the right. Yeah. And it's not going to the right places either. It's not going to the right. You're not getting it on the right character. You're not getting it, you know. This conversation just reminds me exactly of being a frost mage in the high mall in the beginning of Draenor and multi-strike was the, te the, the thing. Oh my God. Multi-strike was the thing for frost mages. And it was really hard to get multi-strike on gear to get enough to actually be. Yes, it was amazing for shadow and for my, when I was in Walker. I sold a lot of multi-strike gems though. Oh man, the memories of multi-strike. That was so fun. And you know, it could, we may be looking at a change up in stats. Maybe they're prepping us for that. I don't know. This is just theories, guys. This isn't. I mean, that's kind of what they did with demo when they were doing a complete overhaul of that. I mean, maybe that's why they're giving us so much versatility. I mean, I'm just assuming, like they, you are. I can so. say that they didn't do that for Destro going into Legion, right? Um, yeah, they just made you shit and kept you shit. <laughs> but they were like, oh, by the by, mastery isn't going to be your 100% go-to anymore. It's going to be haste. So here, my dumb truck ass is stacking all the mastery I can, gobbling it up by the fucking pound. And then Tio's like, hey, by the by, you need to be stacking haste. What? Because Affliction's always been haste, not destruction. Honestly, they need to just do away with stacking one stat, make everything beneficial in some way to the class because focusing so much on one stat honestly makes you go crazy sometimes if you focus too much on it. And like, for instance, uh, Disc used to be really good with haste. Like you wanted to stack haste with everything else and then the intellect. And now it's just like everything's balanced to the point where even if it's like 10 more intellect, you want to get rid of that item. It's true. All of it. And it is possible. They might be, you know, they're, I don't know, balance doesn't exist, right? There's no, <sighs> there's always going to be somebody at the top of the meters and there's always going to be somebody at the bottom. That's just the nature of things. I think the gap in between is, should be what matters. Not, you know, that all But three... I like my thigh gap. But, like, I don't 
but ever want to not oh. have one because it's saved. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, no, like in Vegas drunk. Yeah, the thigh, the not having a thigh gap <laughs> saved my phone 100%. I'm not going to lie. It's real. The thigh gap is. But that's the biggest thing. There's always, even though uh, Dark Legacy Comics, he made uh, funny about that when people were complaining about the meters, when it showed everyone exactly equal. He's like, oh, why are Death Knights at the top? And that's he's true. like, He's a warrior. He's like, oh, I'm gonna name name uh, name the class a uh, damage dealer. <laughs> and I do catch myself when I see somebody post a screenshot of the latest sim or whatever the hell it is. I do catch myself. My initial reaction is, well, here we go, Nestor on the fucking bottom again. Then I have to just realize, so what do I care? I care that my chaos bolt goes from my embodiment and soul. And it hits whatever my target is in the fucking face. You're That's a what I care about. Player. Yeah, like yeah, I as care. As long as the general player isn't like so far off from the top of the meters, in terms of like the simming and all that, then I don't see an issue. I think it's okay if you're enjoying it and you feel good. You feel good about what you're doing. There's times when I don't feel good and I feel like I had to work really hard and not get what I. Kind of like when Murky had um, breast sickness. He felt like you. <laughs> That was a fun day. <laughs> this, this is what it feels like to be Belle. You try so hard and you do so little. <laughs> I hate you. But yeah, I, I feel like you just, you know. And now, guys, keep in mind, I'm coming from the perspective of not, you know, mythic raiders. I'm, you know, I'm, my perspective is going to be vastly different than, like, Scott's perspective, where he probably you know, is like super pissed off about whatever they're not getting or are getting or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> I don't think he is. He seems relatively happy both online and offline. But I just think if you're so so caught up in stuff that doesn't matter, be upset about <laughs> stuff like, you know, Rem getting seven fucking wands. Um, but don't make it so important that you forget to just, it's one Have little fun. tiny part of what we're doing here. That's my speech. The inner machinations of my mind are I read it. Yeah, that's my speech. I hope you guys liked my speech. Did I deliver a good speech? What did you say? I it's know. pretty yeah. What was going on? I was thinking about all those method players that had all these like 360, 370 Titan forged gears from World Quest that I can never get past. Oh yeah, because the they're lucky <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's another thing that makes me sad. I can inspect another mage and it'll have like the best in slot Titan Forge World Quest gear and I just get blues and crystals. One last thing before we talk about story. I told you guys I wasn't going to make any friends this episode. We might not have anybody but our very, very loyal following uh, at, by the time I'm done here. So I want to talk about this deadly boss mod thing with... Um, <sighs> <sighs> okay. For those of you who don't know, the Deadly Boss Mod creator, which is uh, Mystical, iOS, but Mystical is what everybody OS. calls him. OS, whatever. Myst I don't know. I can't read. No, he's not an Apple. God. He might be. <laughs> so, <clears throat> MSI and who else was it that teamed up with them? Well, it was just Blizzard and MSI. So, he, this gentleman who... Guys, before I even begin, you should know that I am not taking anything away from anybody or anything that they do. Deadly Boss Mod keeps me sane. It allows me to make me look semi-competent. Uh, and it's been a service to this game. And has been helping very, very casual shit raiders be less shit uh, in raids, dungeons, even, you know, PvP instances, that whole nine. Great service. This person, this is probably their whole life because the World of Warcraft community wants updates right now, right now, right now. So I'm sure this is a good part of his life. He posted a thing talking about he lives with his old, you know, her his aging grandmother who's... <clears throat> I thought it was you for a second there. I did. Um, and how, you know, he relies on his Patreon support and all of those things. And how he's going to take a break. All these reasons, which 90% of the post was financial, which is, you know, it. I, I get it. Like, I would like 
somebody to give me money. So I get it. I get times is tough. I get you're doing a service for your grandma. You do a thing for the community. Like all these things I understand. He posted about how he couldn't raid anymore because he, he lost his <coughs> love for it. He like... I get that because I went through that recently, not rating, but I just went through like, uh, what am I doing and why am I here? I'm just going to just slink away into the night and hopefully I go unnoticed. I didn't make a big dramatic post on social media or Reddit or anything like that. I just simply said, I'm taking a break. Boom, done. Didn't go back and keep checking if anybody tweeted at me or if anybody DM'd me or if anybody gave a fuck. Done. Just taking a break. So... I think it's really great what Blizzard and MSI did. And I think it's great that, um, you know, this gentleman felt so compelled by what these guys did for him that it gave him a new life and, and his Patreon is now booming and he's all kinds of like relevant outside of what he does. Now people are paying attention, right? But I want to tell you what bothers me. A few years ago, when... Uh, Blizzard Watch was WoW Insider. All these things and 90 of it was 90% of it was financial because they sold their soul to the devil. And that's what happens when you sell out, guys. Sometimes it doesn't end in a happy marriage. It ends in an abortion and a drink. Like that's honestly the way that it ends sometimes. So they post, all of a sudden, everybody's blowing up their Patreon and when they were WoW Insider, they had fucking 20 grand a month when they first relaunched it. And there's this is one of many tales of we as a community didn't see them as relevant and valid until a post was made and all of a sudden everything's on fire. The only thing that bothered me about this is I feel like what this does is this sets a trend because it's the same trend that we've all seen and I've seen it too many times everybody's got to go fund me, go fund me my trip to BlizzCon, go fund me my destination wedding. Are you fucking kidding me? What? No, I'm not going to go fund you shit. I'm going to go fund you a fucking job. That's what I'm going to go fund you. Anyway, so I feel like what happens is I think that this sets the tone because shortly after I seen this, I started seeing other, not content creators, but people that do a thing in the community. Oh, I have financial woes. What do you mean financial woes? Well, I don't understand why you're posting that shit on the internet. Never would I ever tell people on the fucking internet that I'm broke. Like ever. Even if I was broke. Even if I lived in a van down by the river. I don't know that my pride would allow that. I, I think it's great that they did this for him because I feel like he really deserved it. He did a good thing here and he continues to do a good thing. And like, so it isn't about this specifically. It's just about the world the, that we've, the trend. the trend in the world that we've opened up. And it was this big PR thing, this big, huge PR thing. Couldn't MSI and Blizzard just did this shit on the low, low? Why did we have to make this PR? Now it's this big PR thing. So you mean to tell me because Blizzard and, and uh, MSI banded together to give you a new computer, this all of a sudden gave you motivation again when you didn't have motivation? This all of a sudden breathed new life into you because you got some Well, I mean, his Patreon wasn't really giving him enough funds to begin with, so he didn't feel needed, but... I get it. Nobody understands more than I do because we, I get it. We're not relevant in any capacity, and I'm totally okay with that. But I had to get to that point, right? I had to get, you know... I'm lucky I'm afforded the opportunity to do something that I love and still have, you know, a real job that pays actual money and not pretend money so like i'm those things are fortunate but my point is this trend that we've started and this we made this a pr move which i think is really what irritated me i think it's great that blizzard did that and i think it's great that msi did that but i feel like it was just a really i feel like it was a pr move and that hurts i mean my blizzard and msi's part yeah but wow that's what blizzard, i'm talking about uh wow had shared it I mean, it wouldn't have blown up if they hadn't done it. Also, um, I mean, he deserved the money. He has, across all mm -hmm. the different platforms, he has more add-on downloads than the population of the United States. He doesn't States. need a lawyer, Rem. You don't got to sell him to me. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm just saying it's he deserves to be. I it, agree. That should be his But if I post it on the internet job. that uh, I can't afford to do anything, well, I better be getting money too then. We better make this all fucking created equal because my needs are just as important as the guy next door's to me needs because nobody is more important than the other on this earth. But that wasn't my point. 
My point is exactly what Candace said. Like I was saying, this great gear, which guys, we would have all probably like, there would have been some serious self-starting if we would have got that, right? Like I get it, mm-hmm. but that's not going to fix his problem. If money, he's smart with it, it might. Money's not going to make you happy. He is burnt the fuck out. He has burnt the fuck out. He is tired and he is weary and it is not fun for him anymore. Nobody understands more than I do because the last six months, it has not been fun for me. It was, in fact, something I had to force myself to do and I never thought I would get myself to that point. That's terrible that I felt that way. So I understand where he's coming from because I know what it's like to feel completely invalidated because people... You know, they use what you and he him more so than me, because obviously he does. You know, I'm not I'm not on his level of commitment, but I think it's sad. Two things here that he had to get to that point in order to um, be relevant for people to give a fuck because Deadly Boss Mod's been doing this shit. I can't even tell you how many years because I don't even know. But now all of a sudden he's relevant enough for people to give a fuck. And I think that that is the trend that we're starting, that we have to publicly we have to publicly open up to what we're going through in order to get any kind of validation or any feedback that we matter when it comes to what we do on the internet. And I think that's a really shitty trend. And yes, the underlying issue here is this, this is a bandaid. So I hope, uh, oh, no, I, I agree. That's a bandaid, but I just think overall it's still a good thing because. Oh, I, I agree. Mm. I don't think it had to be this big public thing and this big whole ordeal. I don't agree with that at well, all. Well, I don't even think Blizzard or MSI made a public thing about it. It was just him said, oh, thank you for this. They just sent him a fucking letter in a box. Yeah, it was the wow head and the icy veins blowing up. and. So let me hit you with some reality. If I send you a thing and I send you a letter and I send you a ton of expensive shit, I already know it's going to be publicly posted. Mm-hmm. I already know. I'm hoping for it. In fact, I'm being Send me some it. expensive shit. We'll see this. I'm just like I'm saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. But I you... feel I feel like we didn't really address. I mean, maybe it did. Maybe on some level, all the positive reinforcement that he got because the MSI stuff isn't what I cared about. I cared about that everybody was supporting him on Patreon because it it it's great that Blizzard acknowledged him and it's it's great that you know. Um, well, because people aren't privy to the fact that that's all he does. Um, I mean, I've, like I, for instance, I've been using I knew DBM pretty publicly. I've been using DBM since before ICC, and whenever you go in before, like pugs were a huge thing for raids. Like it was like, do you have DBM? Oh, you don't. You can't join, and a lot of people aren't aware of situations like that. Well. What people? Give me give me a list of people who aren't aware. Give me a list of people who don't use DBM. I wasn't aware of a situation. I'm talking about right now. now. No, I'm not talking about back then. Everybody at some point didn't know anything, right? Like at some point we were. What, all... Are you talking about people don't have DBM? Yeah, or... tell, give me give me a list of people who don't use DBM that raid. Uh, I don't know any, any people that raid that don't use DBM, but I can name people that walk into your raid and don't know what DBM is. Into, I don't a, their name. into a progression run. Into pugs and progression runs, yeah. Well, because not like right now, but last expansion and in wad, it happened several times. And well, and, and big wigs is largely to uh, a different side of the world too that uses big wigs also. Um, so yeah, there's it's, just, it's you know, same concept though. Yeah, same difference, but so. And are actually, going to oh, give me actually, a list of uh, people. Uh, actually, one of my old friends, uh, his name is Papacito. Uh, he knows about DBM, but he does not use DBM in raid. He's never done it, and he was actually but one of our best raiders in Kata. So you've given me like uh, three out of how many players do we have? That I know personally. Three point then you have all the other million. Right? And there's probably a, a bunch of people on Twitter that don't use DBM. So. Were you going to give me a list? Because you're trying to make a point here, and your point is failing. The large part of the community knows what DBM is. They know they follow him they follow the updates they use it they tell people to use it the large part of the community minus the 12 people that you have in your brain that don't know what it is or that you've come across in the last month my problem is that it took this man having a public meltdown and continuing this trend of 
not being able to get what he needed or or feel important or whatever it is that he needed because there's probably a list of 20 things until he had this you know very public like guys I'm letting you know I can't continue on in this manner I have to do me and take a break and whatever I think it sucks as a community that it took that and this is like I said this is a trend We've now it's going to open the door for other content creators and well, I, I understand that I'm I'm sitting here and I'm, and I'm and I'm thinking to myself and I don't want to distract from what's going on here but like everybody know okay so majority of the people know what DBM is we've used it for years and years and stuff like that and it's been free content we take it for granted we go to our Twitch clients and and download and install it but one of the things that I was thinking of here is the majority not everybody knows what TSM is. And granted, that is a free add-on for the base stuff, but they've got their paid premium services. But because they have their paid premium services, they can't be advertised on, uh, you know, the Twitch download client and Curse and stuff like that. So why couldn't DBM, you know, do some sort? Because I'm assuming that that pay is literally the the money they make to to sponsor TSM and keep the people who make TSM going? Why couldn't DBM do such a, a similar thing? It's a good question. A lot, of us, a lot of us would hate it. We would hate to buy, to, to raid and have these warnings, but, you know, and free content would be just getting dungeons and mythic, you know, DBM alerts, but. It's because he, I know, I know why he did it and I know why he's never monetized it. It's the same reason why we didn't sell out years ago. It's the same reason when said, when people said, when we had PDQ, why don't you have, ads on your site because fuck you I hate ads why would I put ads on my site oh well you get an x amount per click so it's the same person who told me two years ago why don't you have ads roll in the middle of the show what do you mean they're in the beginning okay I get like three cents cool like that three cents will cover a corner of the toilet paper that Rem needs after he eats what is that one ply or two ply probably one ply (laughs) but I think I agree but so because uh, yeah so that was just a thought process on the add-on itself a lot of people don't know it's just one guy who's doing this on his own now i didn't read his entire letter i saw it being posted and shared everywhere and i rolled my eyes to it but um was his computer his rig itself a limitations to what he could do or was it just he's, his a, he's a mythic raider so like it wasn't even the equipment it, like that was mentioned as well as a whole long list of financial reasons. But like the heart of what he said is I'm fucking tired. Like this is all I do. I have no oh, life. So just gave him shit to go make him. Work. I have no friends. Like I think like, like I said, the action that was taken was great. And I think that that's awesome. But like the underlying issue is he, he, he needs a fucking break. <laughs> Like, he needs a break. It's great that we threw stuff at him, but, like, he needs a break. So what I would like to see is a call out of, of people assisting and going and doing things. Like, I know he works with Weak Ores, and I know he works with a lot of other, other add-on creators, but maybe we could help him build and help him do so it isn't just a, you know, a one- or two-man wrecking crew. Give to it. But, yes, can we please stop seeing people as relevant when we do take advantage of using their stuff? Um, and I can say that I am not a part of that because I've tweeted to uh, DBM several times over the last couple of years, especially when a new update was pushed that I really liked. So I've at least acknowledged it. But, you know, I just I just think it's important that we keep focused on what was really going on there, because the outcry and, and the response, I think, was great. I think it's great that people, you know, his Patreon went up. I think that's awesome because it's deserved. But I feel like we just throw st- stuff at people and say, oh, are you good now? They're there. They're there. Let me just throw shit at you. We'll be, you know, we'll be okay. But for him, probably, too, maybe all the outpouring probably made him feel validated and relevant. And I think that that's good, too. But it went. Yeah, emotional and financial support <laughs> is good. But it's most thing, like, the whole... Um, what was I going to say? The the whole thing nowadays is let's throw something at this, make it seem like you care, and then the next day it's yes. kind of like that's the trend. Thank you. Yeah, that is the trend. I didn't convey it very well, and I think people twenty four like, hour publicity. I think people like were like, people "Wow, she's." Facebook. It's like the people. My mom is guilty of this, so I'm. It's in my own household, like in my family. 
when they say, oh, prayers for this situation that's going on halfway across the world, are you going to do something else? Right. Prayers. Prayers for New Orleans. Prayers. Yeah. Prayers. Because that's gotten me real far in my life. I got to be really honest. Because I prayed for many things, and I got to tell you. I pray for my shitty day tomorrow, guys. Pray. It just (laughs) was not the best. But I do uh, also agree with what Mark was saying. Um, I understand what it's like to be a person that doesn't want to charge for what you do. What could we charge for? We just get on here and rant and bitch. I don't get you everywhere, Joe. You know, why? (laughs) What what could we have to get, you know, anything from anyone? But My premium Snapchat. I feel like. I mean, I charge on the corner, Bill. I mean, why can't he charge? I would pay for a premium DBM. I mean, I would, yeah. I mean, Maybe even if it core, was just something. You know, the core of B- DBM could be free, and then you got the additional. Well, what could be added as pay? Like what? The voice things? Or so, so the second thing to that is sounds? I know you can't list add ons on Twitch and Curse that have a donate button on them. So. I think, didn't DBM have that issue before? Somebody did where they had a donate button and they were kicked off of being listed as a download. I mean, he's got his support for Patreon on his Twitch thing. I have it open right now. But I mean, he could also do something where the core one is on Twitch and all the other places for free. And then he can also go maybe to his website where it's an additional plugin on top of his ad on that as a paid service or something like that. Because I mean, if, if it was put in there, I would put into that. I don't do Patreons because I have enough stacked up, stacked up, uh, stacked up. I had a, Jesus Christ, I had a stroke stacked up on my bills. So I don't put Patreons on there, but I would put on a uh, stuff for the add on. Cause I, like I said, I've been using DBM for shit, 12 years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look guys, I'm not cheap. I'm easy, but I'm not cheap, right? There's, and sometimes it changes from week to week. Sometimes I'm cheap, but I'm not See, cheap. I'm easy and a cheap to hate, so. <laughs> I would pay for a good service. Let's come. I would 100% <laughs> pay for a good service. I would pay, uh, charge every user $2 for some additional plugins. That would still be a shit ton of money coming in. in Let's a lot solve of the problem. Mind. Let's not throw shit at it. And a year down the road, here we go with another post. Let's problem solve guys can do fucking attitude that's really what frustrated me about this is i feel like where was the roll up our sleeves and let's get to work let's make it better for the future let's fix his problem and his issue and let's help him and let's help ourselves and let's stop being greedy cunts like just (sighs) problem solve guys problem solve that's really Mm -hmm. that was really the show on hiatus again and see if we get new breaks coming in I mean, I know nobody threw money at me while I was on <laughs> vacation from mental sanity. Like, I didn't even wear a bra half the time, and nobody threw money at me. I don't. <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> and you would think going braless would get me more money, right? Not so much, guys. Not a dollar. for me. But I, I am proud of the community that we have. I would just like to see the community be proactive versus reactive. If you or like something, both. you hear about it. You know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that was both, my both that was my last rant. I mean, congrats the to the guy for getting a little boost up here right now. His spirit's got to be feeling pretty good, but like you said, it's it's going to open the trend of everybody else doing this. Well, the trend is already there. I owe thirteen thousand for taxes, or I could in fact go to jail or get shit repoed. Does can I? Can we? Oh wow, we're getting personal on the can show I hook, now. Can we get it hooked up, guys? <laughs> Oh, there was a lack of Snapchats. You probably right. You right. If I would have given more Snapchats and then charged people for my my personal Snapchat. Guys, I don't have a personal and a and a non-personal Snapchat. I have a Snapchat. Let me get the leggings out. Like <laughs> That's what I got. I'm still waiting for my bangerang banana hammocks, so I asked them, they weren't interested. They didn't seem exact at all. Concerned. I'd be an excellent show model for those, though. So I mean, I told them that you know we. I was really mad they didn't do any um, nightfall in leggings. They missed an opportunity there. Instead, they just went with you know the same stuff that everybody would buy. Um, but I just, yeah. So that's that's the happenings on that. But we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna start a GoFundMe for. Um, 
both, all three of us. Yeah, for something. We don't know what we need yet, but we'll know by the time we get there. Um, just kidding. Seriously, though, <laughs> just kidding. To that end, while we transition to Rem's got some story for us, um, I am on the hunt for an emote maker for our subscribers. So if you subscribe, we love you. I have a few more things on my to-do Bless list you. that I'm hoping to get knocked out this weekend. And okay. then I will be able to get back to um, the sub only stuff that I wanted to be able to do. And it isn't because I want to force people to give us money. It's because it's nice for the people that do. I would like to be able to reward them. Um, so please don't text me and be like, why can't I get that? I got to pay you. Yeah. You have to pay me to be my friend. So what's in your wallet? They have to pay us to come sit with us at BlizzCon and eat tacos. You have to pay us for hugs, guys. That's what we do. <laughs> um, but I am working on sub-only stuff. And the Patreon and the sub, all that will roll into one bowl. Um, I just have to make it a little bit customized for Patreon because they don't, you know, whatever. But it's not like we have a million dollars going to Patreon. But we have people that love us and have continued to love us. And that I, I want you to just feel appreciated. So, um, But I, there's... a. a couple different things that i was considering um and for the subs i i don't know how to do a sub only pre-show live i don't know oh, how to Murphy's do that almost to throw money at us <laughs> she already had tell her she already has a sub she doesn't have to give us money <clears throat> oh she texted me the other day and was like at bad moment she's like what do you guys want for this patron honey rum, rum chata patron honey jen won't be there to <laughs> drink all my shit what is it the uh uh vejo the Patron Avejo. Bendejo? That's not, you can't say that. It's the Patron Honey. It's like, a, a, how do you say honey in Spanish? Uh, honey O. Honey. <laughs> yeah, O oh, Honey. Patron La Honey. <laughs> am I doing it right, Gabe? No. Any, any, Tio, am I doing it right, anybody? <laughs> Text me names. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to let Murky do that. Okay, so, guys, be better humans. Not just because a sad story on Twitter. Be a better human all the time. Care about people all the time. Make your be world grateful better. for what people do for you or do for the for what we care about. Be grateful all the time. Don't be grateful when it suits your needs. Or when you gotta be the you can't be the only guy not retweeting. Right? Because then everybody's gonna judge you. Guess what? I didn't retweet, and it doesn't mean I don't support. It just means what do I need to for? We got a million other people that are doing it. So be a better human With all that the time. mentality, there's another million people that aren't. Well, my mentality is I show I care about people in different ways. And I am not going to bandwagon because it wasn't relevant to me yesterday. And it isn't going to be relevant to me today. Because that's, let's be real with life. We don't got to pretend. Yeah, with that negligence, that's how we got a president. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Guys, this is how you get DOC like, numbers. Exactly what I was <laughs> That was the point he was proving. It's how you get DOC numbers. And then you don't even recognize your life. Uh, I wouldn't <laughs> know anything about that, though. We don't. None of those things are part of our lives, guys. We have boring stay at home. <sighs> raising all, but, all but one of us has a whole family to deal with. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, Merck's got with. his Merck's got his psychotic grandmother who <laughs> finally realized that Belle was right when I said she wasn't going to have to stress about the electric bill because they have a tiny, like their square footage compared to other square foot homes and the elevation and the mm -hmm. X and the Y and all the other math involved. I did tell her that her electric bill was not going to be very high. In fact, I'm pretty sure I told Murky it was going to be under 100 on the hottest part of the summer. And imagine that like 70 bucks and we can keep this house under 85 now now his under eight what we can't I know. Really he's now. never lived that life ever when since he's like moved in with grandma he's never lived that life no, we have not ours no, like no. i'm actually cold now at 82 because i was so used to it being <laughs> my goddamn house so yeah and then we'll you've, got, while we're here. you've got rem who's got a wife and a child um there may be more. We've only seen one visually, so I don't know if there's others around. Um, he's acquired some cats that aren't his, but are very <laughs> comfortable in his bed. There's always cats. Even um, at my parents' house, there's cats. And, yeah, you know, I have cats. a whole... Everywhere I cat, cat. I have a whole army of, you know... You need to get a, um, a little miniature pig. 
And Why? the army has grown because my, you know, my brother's married now. That's all I got to say about that. Minister Bell. <laughs> Minister Bell laid it down and made it happen, which I still have not gotten the video or pictures of the ceremony themselves. There was an incident with the photographer and the video audio people, but that's okay, guys. It wasn't me that offended this time, so... Rest assured, I was very... It wasn't who you're about to say. I, I behaved myself until after the ceremony. I promised my brother only until the ceremony was done. And then... It was your cousin, by the way. It was my, my Canadian cousin, who doesn't understand America. He, you know, they apologize for everything. And they, they're super nice. He doesn't have an offensive bone in his body. He just... It was a lack of knowledge. But anyway. the way it was. So. But Yeah. Let's talk about Shrine of the Storm, which I was, little, talking about? I was a little irritated with this dungeon initially for no other reason other than visually it bugged me a little bit. So I'm kind of excited oh, for you to give um, me a little bit more understanding, right? Because sometimes I don't know why something is a certain way. I like the dungeon itself. I just... Can we pinpoint what you didn't like about it? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the fact that I got lost really was the only. <laughs> it very much reminded me of the. Um, where do we get the Drakes at? The Drake the of the North Wind and all that. Oh, like the Skywall? Is that yeah, you have the. Well, you have the different levels. Like you go up and then you take your. You take the wind and stuff. Take the tornado, jump yeah. over. Oh, um, the ramp. Yeah, the Skywall. Is right? Alec here is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the name of the dungeon, but... I don't Very know reminiscent of that, though. So what's the good word? Uh, bird. Is, what a bird, bird, bird. Okay, so... Uh, shrine of the Storm is a... the shrine of the storm. No way! And... Who goes yeah. to the shrine? <laughs> um... No, so the shrine is kind of like the the holy place of the Tide Sages. The Tide Sages are what we now know as pretty much waterbenders of Cool Terrace. <laughs> um, and does every waterbenders so mean the same to you as it does to me? No, I'm talking about Avatar: The Last Airbender. Not the same. Got it. Copy. No, oh. no peeing. Does that make you a waterbender, Bell? <laughs> <laughs> That's wet work. Right, so the Tide Sages are the guys that pretty much make the Cool Terran fleet uh, pretty much the the best in the world. Literally, they before it was, they were just good at shipbuilding. Now they actually um, not only enchant, but they place a Tide Sage on the ship that pretty much is able to control the wind, the ocean, all that good stuff. And they know a lot about Nazoth and the Dark Depths. Because as we're questing through, this is kind of leading up to Shrine, as you're questing through uh, a storm song, Pike mentions that we have been, um, it's like something along the line, I'm paraphrasing 100%, but it's like we are trained to not look so far into the depths of the ocean because there lurks darkness there. And you see a lot of that in Shrine of the Storm when Storm Song unveils the fact that he is 100% in league with Ashara and in term and turn with Nazoth. So not Nazoth. all storm sages are bad. Uh, no, like, like most things, there's good and bad to everything. Uh, Brother Pike is a good example of what is good about being a tight sage. He is there for his people and cool terrors. Storm song is there for self gain and power. I want to know what Ashara and Nazoth showed him that made him turn on his people. Cause he leads this whole, the small nation that's part of cool terrors. And he helped make the fleet what it is, and he now entraps it and goes against his people. But it is the first uh, large footprint that Nazoth has in this expansion. In Shrine of the Storm, we see a lot of it in Storm Song, but uh, Shrine of the Storm was like a big, heavy, heavy deal with that. But the first boss is kind of just like a spawn minion. His name is um, Akusir. I'm hoping that's right. What? But did you say Fusaka? Yeah. That's like Fusaka. my favorite word in game right now is Fusaka. What's Fus oh, that's not Fusaka. Fusaka it's, the, from? it's the cookie mat that you buy from the vendor, but like. You oh, want I'm cultured swine? I just, I'm not a, 
I, I cook ramen. Okay. I sit in cold chairs sometimes, and I'm like, busaka. Anyway, I'm over it. Ox, Go ahead. So Oxier. Okay, so Oxier, he is a, a spawn mini. He looks like a Nenraki mixed with a water elemental. Um, Nenraki is uh, kind of like the faceless ones. It is just the minions of Nazoth. He is his creation. Are those the guys that we fought in Emerald Nightmare? Uh, no, Animal Nightmare was something else. Uh, your Sarge in Dragon Soul is a Nenraki. And then, um, what's his nuts? The other guy, he's a Kithraxi. He was a minion of, um, I believe, Kithun. Or, no, Yaxron. Either way, not good. Uh, think, okay, Nenraki has tentacles. Uh, Kithraxi usually... The bug light, are the right? basis ones. Oh, never mind. Same, same, different. I'm doing math in my head trying to come up with this equation, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to place... So it's just curious because it is a, a, a water elemental, but it's also a void being. So I'm wondering maybe they have manipulation over water. Like I said, they're water... Benders. But you're saying mm. peeing isn't water bending, but I beg to differ because there has been some times when I swear to God, water bending was happening. <laughs> like, I don't know if anybody else <laughs> feels this way. <laughs> no. No? No. I lemonade doesn't look so good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if it's yellow, you're not drinking enough water. Um, and the next guys are the Tide Sage Council. Uh, it is Brother Iron Bull and Gale Collar Faye. Uh, they are representing two different parts of the Tide Sages, my assumption, because of how the, um, the initiates and the apprentices are in that dungeon, uh, shows a, a glimpse into what Tide Sages actually are. Um, Gale Color Fey has controls over the wind, which we see a lot of that uh, on one of, the, one of the quests, I can't remember what it is, but you're on a boat and there's a Tide Sage that's like, I don't know if she's blessing the water or shouting random hocus pocus stuff but she's making the boat go faster and airbenders yeah they're they're no, airbenders the, they're water the benders hoe, though you can't have a boat without the hoe well she was fully clothed so that's mm. no fun for anyone guys <laughs> like that's not uh so she would be like enchanting the boats to uh, be swift and to uh cut through the water pretty quickly uh brother iron bull is about strength and pretty much like the anchor uh, making the boat stronger. Uh, they turn their powers from using it as to good and turning to evil. Every villain is lemons. No? Okay. No. <laughs> They're loyal to Lord Storm's, Stormsong to the point of insanity. I Get think it? I got what you were void. saying there, but it was a little delayed. Any? I hate you. But oh, they're you fuck your dad jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're fucking dad jokes. Uh, dad jokes. Somebody buy this guy a dad joke book so he could up his dad joke game. Well, I just... They're loyal to Sword, Lord Stormsong to the point of insanity because they went to the void. Get it? Me? Anyways, I hate myself. Uh, Lord Stormsong, he is... Uh, he used to lead... I say used to because we kicked his ass. He used to lead the Tide Sages and Stormsong Valley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, oh, she was about to say something. Oh. Smart. Oh. I was going to say, was that who we fought? But then I was confusing him and, well, we do, but w I was confusing with um, crazy, house crazy, house, qu house crazy Waycrest. What? I was confusing the two bosses. Oh, yeah, they're both fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah, that, well, fucking Mrs. Waycrest is all kinds of probably my future, if I'm being honest. Also, um... Small uh, tidbit of information. I was so interested because uh, Envy actually told me this. Uh, Lord Stormsong, the guy that voices it, was it's it's amazing. Like it's top notch. Like it's amazing. And actually, if you guys are aware of Stargate SG One, uh, the dude uh, I can't. I'm um, T Elk. The I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get slapped, but uh, by someone. But he's the black dude in it. He's the guy that voices Lord Stormsong. Wow. Yeah. Oh, did you just uh, assume his race and gender at the same time? Did not say person of color. His name is <laughs> his name is Christopher Judge. 
Wow. And the voice acting was You just amazing. assumed his race and his gender at the same time. <laughs> Actually, no. His race is Jaffa and SG-1. I only know that because I have <laughs> I haven't watched that since I was little. My grandpa used to watch it, but you know, TL Keys, uh, Christopher Judge has apparently voiced it, and it was fucking good. I just want to say that um, you know we it's okay to describe somebody by the color of their skin, guys. When you're trying to describe someone, it's also okay. in the new God of War, he voices Kratos. I didn't know Martin Sheen voiced the uh, not what's the dragon's name in the Time Walker, the Bronze Dragon. What the no, fuck? Seriously? Yeah. Wait, what? The what's the the bronze dragon name? I can't remember. Uh, the big dude. Yeah, like, the one that's uh, Oh no, Zormu. Yeah, he's voiced by uh, Martin Sheen. Envy told us that, and I actually I looked did. it up. And How come they're all fine. Sheens except for Estevez, and he's white? I'm so confused by that whole <laughs> that whole thing. Is just not important to World of Warcraft, but it's like mind boggling. It's kind of important. How is there one right. Estevez and he's white? So, like, what is exactly going on he, in this family tree? Kind of like with um, Schwarzenegger, how he had his um, little maid, maybe. Yeah, but oh, the boy. kid looks just like him, except the the same ethnicity of the maid. Yeah, but it I mean, same like thing a, with Estevez. It looked like a Mexican Arnold Schwarzenegger was all, like, that was the only thing. <laughs> But I mean, all Sheens have tiger blood, so it's okay. I was just trying to figure out, like, how is there an Estevez, and he's white, so I'm even equally confused. I was clearly not ready for this segment of the show and have no jokes prepared. <laughs> 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 and the last boss is uh, Vol Zeth, the Whisperer. He's going to whisper sweet nothings like a little ASMR video. No, we're not doing <laughs> ASMR. That's just going to make me tired. So, he's... A new minion sent by Ashara and Asad. Guys, I just figured out a new way to make money. I'm going to do a 1-800 a number, and I'm going to have Rem answer the hotline, and you guys could get, you could <clears> self-start <throat> with assistance. <laughs> guys, this is Pwncast After Dark. Oh my God. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't do any drinking tonight because I'm the only normal one. Uh, so he is a minion sent by Nazoth. Uh, he's just another name. Uh, he is an Iraqi. He has the tentacle face, and he whispers sweet nothings while he tries to kill us. But, if but does he, he him smell like peppermint and murder? Uh, no, uh, he oh. smells like tapioca and lies. <laughs> Should have saved that for the toy segment. <laughs> uh, oh my! <laughs> um, I even got that yeah. innuendo. How about that? You didn't even have to tell me it was an innuendo. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. So, under the storm is old god stuff, guys. I yeah, I didn't understand it in the very beginning. I couldn't, you know. I kind of mm -hmm. like I do get a little bit frustrated how sometimes it's not really obvious why the dungeon is there and what we're doing. And I don't mean for you guys or for Candace, who like all of you guys would instantly know by looking at a thing. Oh, this is why this is this way. I feel like that there's probably a lot of new players that don't know why this is important. And I I sometimes wish that the storytelling was a little bit better in the dungeons. Not complaining. I'm just you know. Well, they're they're doing a good job of that lately. Um, where instead of well, besides well, dear, we won't. Oh, oh. Good best story. Um, good story, but not how we walked into it. They they do a good storytelling in dungeons now. Where instead of like, oh, you walk in here, kill the boss, call it good. As long as you do the questing around it, then you understand what's going on. Actually, and be. My take from Shrine of the Storm story wise was pretty much you do the you they unveil the Ashara character in there. You see the presence of her. So that's well, you, where Yeah, uh like in uh Ugard Keep where you have um Lich King talking to that lady, you have that same thing with Ashara is actually has like an ethereal form talking to Storm Song when you first walk in where she's like, Oh, it looks like you have guests. It's hard to be mad at her. But she's a bitch. I know, but it's hard to be mad at her. I mean, like, I'm going to be real. I wouldn't be, I ain't going to be nobody's, <laughs> like, so, I'm not going to be anybody's, like, minion. So, like, her her whole story, I respected that. I respected that she's, like, I mean, at this point, I have two choices. I could either die and so could my people, or I could just 
man up and, you know, kill people. Yeah, totally. Doggy dog world. Fuck bitches, get money. Well, she wanted to fuck Sargeras. Who doesn't, though? Out. Well, I mean, I don't particularly, but... I'm just saying. But, uh... I don't even know that I have a favorite dungeon. I don't think I've done <clears throat> enough try-hard stuff to have a favorite. What are, Do you guys have a favorite? <clears throat> well, I have different tiers of favorites. Of course you do. Efficiency, a tall bazaar. Travis, I mean, oh, I thought you were going on with there's the additional list. tiers. No. We were waiting oh, for oh, additional tiers. I know we're tiers. doing all my tiers right now. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I could insert a dad joke there, but I'm going to let you have that. Uh, in terms of story, uh, Shrine of the Storm, actually. And then I'd say like art style or like the looks of it. I'd say Temple of Sithralis looks looks nice. I hate Temple. The only dungeon I like visually is Waycrest. Oh, damn. I thought I was going to have you. I like Freehold. Oh, I like the pirates. I yeah, love the obviously, pirates. I didn't even know Freehold was on the list of even discussion because I just assumed oh. everybody, I assumed everybody loves Freehold. Oh, okay. But. I actually really enjoy it. Story-wise, I like Siege of Morales. I thought it was fun and intricate, but. I agree. That was a good one. I did like the story. Um, and I obviously visually, I'm like me and Cole Terrace, like we're, you know, we're people. Um, oh, for, ending, for some okay. reason, though, um, Waycrest Manor, I don't know what it is about it. I can't put my finger on it because I don't. Here it is. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. <laughs> If we didn't break any other barriers, we've already been racist and gender assuming. <laughs> and I said the word cunt. Like, we're just a ball of goodies tonight. Um, I, do, I do no, like okay. Waycrest Manor. I like the fight in general. The fight between the husband and wife. Mostly because, like, well, I... Her dialogue is... I feel her, good. though. Like, I feel when I, we're fighting her, like, I tap into, like, my inner crazy. Well, there isn't an inner because it's I'm an gonna outer crazy. I'm going to have to crazy. send dark like a like an, an advanced apology something save his life somehow because <laughs> but I feel very much like I am one text away from that being like a current state of being and it isn't just going to be like internal where I calm myself down but I feel her on her crazy side I get such a good feeling after you killed the third boss and you open up the boss. Murky, house. I'm worried. Why? Why are you worried? <laughs> you know, we don't do that. We need that to stay one. But when you kill the three bosses, then she starts talking about the blood seeping beneath. That's me. why. I was, yeah, it's the so corn. murky, but good. Oh, yeah. good. The carnage is leaking through the floorboards. It's I never thought I would hear anybody say that they liked the mother load. But I suppose there's probably probably he, tinkers and engineers like the the. He likes load. a load somewhere. Self starting. <laughs> um, well, it's better. Alexa, shut up. In the napkin, right? Hey, um, Merc, are those signs that nobody got to see at BlizzCon last year? <laughs> no, those were the signs that everybody saw last year. You have the one that nobody saw last I year. I do? You do. Where did I get the sign? It, it went home with you. It's I don't still have in a hotel room. <laughs> oh my god. This is why we never saw it. Well, we never saw it because you were playing musical rooms. And you were playing not in your room. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be. It's BlizzCon. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I'm not saying he was a hoe, but... Faux show. Faux show. He wasn't an injured hoe, though. No wheelchair. Thank God. That's a good time. Do you, do you actually not even have it? Like, I was hoping you were going to bring it. I, I don't. I would have okay. to ask my husband. To be fair, when I get home, my husband unpacks all the stuff and he puts everything away, and he takes all my stuff out of my suitcase. He is like the best husband ever. He does all that, and I don't even have to ask him. He just instinctively starts doing it and putting all that stuff away. I made this nice little sign last year for BlizzCon that said "Citizens of Dalaran, listen to Pumcast." Nobody got to see it though. He never grabbed it. Nobody so got I to mean... see it. We don't know anything. Um. 
So I was going to do uh, Help Me, I'm New this week, but I think we're new enough. And I think we have enough content to go through to be good. Um, I'll work on that next week because it isn't that big of a deal this week. We have lots of stuff to do. If you're a horde, go do your contributions and do the things. This weekend, uh, or rather this next week, I'm going to be leveling my monk. And I also am going to be... <laughs> it's time for me to do my conquest grind because I haven't done that yet. And I don't know what that looks like. So we're going to, Rem and I are going to need to test how that feels, what that looks like and all that good stuff. Cause I can't really officially comment on the grind. I know people are really happy out of, of what they're getting out of their conquest chests. So I haven't mm -hmm. started yet. Yeah. We'll do that this week. Uh, it's been a little bit, it's been a little complicated at work. Like I, can't even shower until like five o'clock. My work day. My, my she work hasn't day. been joining us in no. our social activities until like seven, eight o'clock. And yeah, no, my work week this week has been. I didn't even well, game so. for four days. Like I didn't even get on Bertha. I was so like, I worked a little bit later than I was supposed to. I just. <sighs> Real Are you going to raid with us this week? Yes, I am going to raid, I think. There we go. Just kidding. I'm fucking reassuring. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to let Rem do his can you not first because I'm hoping there's going to be a enunciation and maybe, you know, a push. Maybe put your back into it. Maybe your butt into it. Like, whatever you're into, I'm not judging. But can you not? <laughs> we'll start with Rem first. Rem, what is your can um, you not this week? I, 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 believe, I believe you have my tape. Can, can you not take my tape? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's looking great. Okay, so I made the mistake of going on the fucking forums. You would never do such oh, a thing. Heresy. Lord. Heresy. Oh, I mean, like I said, I enjoy the forums, but when I find that thread, then I'm like, I regret the forums 100%. So, there has been um, the vocal minority, I call them, uh, Throwing shade um, on BFA and saying, oh, it's it's complete shit. It's shit. It's just complete. It's the worst. So. Who's saying this, though? The, so people on the forums are saying this. I saw it, but I want to clarify. <clears throat> okay, so what I do is when I see people bitching about the game is I go into the character profile or most of them post on their alts because they're little cunts. Um, and they're, they don't do any of the content. Uh, their rating is LFR. They probably they don't even collect pets, so I'm like, what the fuck? Are they don't you even doing have the like then? their three pets favorited in their profile. There's it's like, like see, there's what nothing. the fuck are you doing in the game then? Like if you're gonna bitch about the content that you don't like because it's not the special niche Hello Kitty Adventure fucking island for you, <laughs> fucking get the fuck out. That's right. If it's not what you're looking for, don't play right now. Don't bitch about it sucks. I mean, eventually. You can be like, hey, what's going on? Input your advice, or not your advice, but like your input, your opinion, or something. Say, hey, actually be constructive with your bullshit. But um, yeah, just don't be a little dick edgelord saying, oh, the game sucks because it's cool to hate things. It and is the cool yeah, thing to do. It's cool just to hate. Just get on your fucking bike and fuck off, okay? On your bike, bitch. Pedal in the other direction. Whatever direction I'm going in, I need you to pedal in the opposite one. You right, Rem. You so right. You hit that nail right on the head. But on that note, on a good part of the note, I'm still loving this expansion. I'm out of the honeymoon phase. And there are good bad things. There always is. But the pros can 100% outweigh everything else. I'm Great. thoroughly in love with the expansion. So yeah, that's my can you not. That's a really good can you not. And those of you, if you're listening to this and you're going, I wonder if he's talking about me. Did you post on the forums? Don't Unjustifiably so. Are you an LFR hero and you're posting about gear on the forums? Get it's the mostly fuck when out people. Of here. Yes, yeah, it's mostly when people complain about it and they're not actively doing the content to bitch about the content. Right. I they like heard it. somebody who heard somebody who heard somebody complain about it. And now they've taken that onto their own and they're using it as their personal soundboard to look educated. Well, yeah, though, there's people that they aren't collecting um, current pets. They weren't doing any dungeons. They weren't doing any raids. They weren't doing much of anything. So I'm like, what do you... Because I know a lot of people play the game solo 
and they find enjoyment in that. I mean, you do you, boo boo. Our pro but... are struggling right now. I feel bad for Sulfate because I feel like he's having problems. But it's a fucking MMO. But yeah. <sighs> I Constructive agree. criticism, what the hell? guys. Don't just say it's fucking shitty. Give reasons. Back it up with data, yeah. statistics. Don't clickbait and say you figured it out when you didn't figure it out. B, if Aggressive. the more you are yelling and the worse you are being behavior-wise on the forums, those guys deleted, deleted, deleted. They never, nobody ever pays attention to the person that's a hysterical nutcase. I know my husband never listens to me when I'm a hysterical but, nutcase. But seriously, guys, can you give me back my stapler? <laughs> Do you, do you like the guys who like use symbols to write swear words in the forums too? Oh, I, I honestly, I, I don't even give a shit. I report those people. Guys, I got, <laughs> we all know. Oh my God, Von Butt Stuff. We hey. wondered, I wondered where yeah. you were. We got Von Butt Stuff. Oh, I thought that was average gay James. I was about to be really. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. It's at this moment that I just want to say, we love all people and whatever, wherever you come from, walks of life, color your skin, all those things. We love everybody except for cunts and assholes. We don't like you guys, but we love all you of you. You got your pussies, your dicks, and your assholes. Oh, it's so <laughs> weird to hear you say that word. When you say that word, it's like, it's, it's like, like hearing child my thing. child say it. It's so weird. <laughs> It was so easy. by the dicks. So the dicks also fuck the assholes, but this shit gets everywhere. That's just. <laughs> when the fuck did we get ice cream? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. See, okay, so yeah, you're you're giving good feedback, so that's okay. But I mean, I don't want you to just hate the game to hate it, but give good feedback. You can't make me laugh. Before don't be because it's the cool thing to do. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to love your game. Sometimes it's okay to be supportive of the developers who you know, break their ass to make your content. And sometimes yeah. it's okay to hate whatever is going on, guys. I'm not at my best 90% of the time. I like to pretend like I am, but I'm not. Like, I'm actually 11, Elnar, okay? I just, you know, we just take it with a grain of salt and, you know, lobby for your cause. Don't be like a fucking jackass. But I do encourage you to tweet to Ian and call him. <laughs> <lying ass bitch. laughs> call him. Call him. Like, tweet to him and be like, Belle said to I mean, tell I'm you. Here. You ain't got no nipples. <laughs> because he is a liar. Oh, yeah, Ian, is, Ian is a liar. I have called him out. I have publicly said he is a liar. He now, okay. No king rules forever. Huh? I called him out, right? Now all of a sudden, Destro is getting a 10% little damage increase. I'm pretty sure Ian probably heard my plea. Sometimes you got to say please. Sometimes you got to say hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck, fuck you. you. Oh my god, these guys are so fucking weird. I'm gonna There's a nerf you completely. <laughs> <sighs> we're gonna make a parody of that now. That's the insane. alcohol didn't come to this train station, oh, just so we're clear. Like, you guys are good. Um, well, so I just want to be clear, uh, Mr. Vaughn or Mrs. Vaughn Butt Stuff. Um, I just need you to understand that a 10% damage increase over three spells is not a buff. That does not equal a buff. That equals a, we're trying a to shut, we're trying to shut Belle the fuck up because she's hashtagging Ian's a liar <laughs> or <laughs> Ian lied on Twitter. That's all that is. That is not, that does not equal. I don't want a buff. I don't want Destro to be buffed. Exactly. I want Destro to be in line with all the other classes. I want us to feel equally powerful, which I do. I don't feel un I don't feel not powerful. Um, so, yeah, it was a you know wasn't a buff. It was a <laughs> Neosporin and some gauze. That's what it was. Let's call it what it is. Well, gauze is overboard. Back at the okay. totem form. I like that comment. <laughs> Rem, you did me really proud with your can you not. I love that you got emotional because the can you nots guys are supposed to be emotional. You're supposed to put all of your salty tears and your hate fire in these can you not. So now oh, it do I is... need to be crying the next one? Oh. <laughs> can you not? <laughs> can you not? You can just keep crying in the morning like usual. You don't have to do it right this minute. Just do the. Oh, that ruins my makeup when I'm I getting know. ready. It's the same so for to, me. That's at night. Merc, let's hear. And listen, I need you 
to just pretend Look, like mom's not watching. Laugh. And you should pretend like mom's not watching. Hey, hey, Murky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your uh, can you not this week? Let's tell a story right now. Let's say we are a 350 mage going into heroic raids for the first time in a pug because your guild doesn't have enough people to do heroics. And I kill my sweet second boss of mother and I get that sweet 370 ring. And I'm clearly walking in there with 340s. You can inspect me. But you still had the balls to ask me, hey, do you need that ring? <laughs> you were cool. And I responded, I was like, yeah, it's actually an upgrade. Couldn't give it to you if I wanted. I actually looked in, I know you hate the word simulations, but I looked to make sure if it was an upgrade or not, or I had to pass it on to him. Fact is, high on my level, couldn't trade it. The next boss, we do fetid, and the staff drops. And you, the guy who asked me for my ring, opens it up for roll because you're wearing some 395 bullshit <laughs> and main hand. And I'm the only asshole that rolls for this staff. And you fucking denied me. Like, what the fuck? You can eat my ass. <laughs> Why did he deny you? Because he's a bitter little so bitch. I whispered him in my open trade because I clearly won the What's role. his name, though? It was like prostitutes of Sargeras, but he had <laughs> to his name. So I, I, you know, I whisper him. I'm like, can I get that staff? I open the trade window. He automatically closes it. And then we kill um, the next boss. We were doing a Vectus next. We one shot it. He just whispers me back. Thanks for the ring. Winky face fucking leaves the group. I was like, you piece of shit. You were just being spiteful right now. You can fuck right off. Like, That's what I was saying. He's a bit of a little bitch. It was the this, this serious... Most I'm mortified bitter. that that happened to you. I mean, uh, if it didn't, I've been bitter like that in raids. Not like to the point where, oh, you can't trade it. I'm not going to give it to you. It but was... like someone gave it to your, uh, like a guildie. And I was like, oh, you need this item? And I fucking disenchanted it. <laughs> this fucking shard. Well, see, I like disenchanting other epics that have my bags that I don't want in front of people. <laughs> I did that just to be a dick. But like this guy just. And yeah, that's. What a, what a bitch. It was really sad because it was a 380 staff and they need a big upgrade. <laughs> so this person's name was Prostitutes of Sargeras? Prost prostitutes. Oh, Prostitutes. With all codes, so he's yeah, yeah. Right, I took so. that to a whole different whispering eye level. Um, <laughs> what server was he on? Sargeras. Oh, he, oh, of Sargeras. Like. So so I, I run with this group and it's it's a guild from Sargeras, but they pug other people because they're not a big guild kind of. You said he was a like, uh, rogue? No, it was a mage. Oh, it was a mage? No, it was a mage. It was a prostitute. He's a prostitute mage with me. Prostitute. So if yeah. anybody knows prostitute, I want you to uh, direct him to this video and <laughs> timestamp it, fucking write him a letter, send a carrier pigeon, send a fax. Dear because... Royal Hampton. Hey, prostitute, you going to BlizzCon? Want to eat my ass? You know, <laughs> With a spoon, even. Ah, that is so mad. That's terrible. Can, can you not be an asshole? That's that awful. The level of sprawl that was just a huge level of bitter, like Ren said. Was... That's a sad business. I'm bitter sorry that happened bitter. to you, but we could, you know, we could fight back. I just want you to know I'm vengeful and bitter. You guys already know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I said, he's a follower. You don't use a fucking worn out name. You... Yeah, if anybody knows who that <laughs> is. Slide into my DMs with not a dick pic. Let's not make this weird. Um, yeah, slide on it's into... It's all codes. I'm sure there's plenty of them. Sorry, I'm sure there. somebody knows who that I'm guy is. I'm going to see if my, my um, detail still has information. That guy probably bragged about how, you know, he was a super nice guy. Oh, fucking asshole. Salted now. Maybe. Yeah, they, it... Huh. <laughs> what if it was just the tip? Well, I mean... <laughs> Everything in moderation, right? I mean, you got to get ahead somewhere. That was bad. God. Somebody get this. Reminds me, I got a circle K. Here back. Um, so now my can you not. Hold pop. <laughs> my can you not was very interesting. So I, before I tell you guys my can you not, I have to paint you the picture of what happened. <laughs> so what day was this? Mm. Sunday? This Monday. Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Sunday, before Monday. Before the reset. So we go and do war fronts. We go to Q do to do the cha cha, right? We go to do the you know, cha cha real smooth. You go and do the stuff. You do the things and you make the monies and you have the funds and whatever. I went to do when we it was when it was during our time to queue. I queued with these guys the first time, but I forgot to pick up the quest. So I did the whole war front and then they were like, "Just kidding, you oh, didn't yeah, pick up your dumb. quest." Yeah. Um. So yeah, that happened. Sorry, I have to turn. 
for some reason, my fans. Beep, beep, beep. She's getting the hot and angry, boys. You know she's. she's no, it's not that. Stuff. It's I can hear my children. Oh, uh, she turned the AC up to nullify the children. I don't know why it's like not kicking on. Beep. There it goes. Uh, yeah, I can I can hear the kids. Anyway, Beep. so. Merc takes me. We go to do things, right? Now, he's trying to help me cap some of these uh, bases so that I could get the achievement, right? Mm -hmm. He tells me, go stand over there. So I'm running to stand over there. I position myself to make sure after I'm done casting the second, you know, he, the guy's dead, I can click. Two, three minutes later. I don't get the cap, by the way. Somebody else, some fucking asshole who saw me standing there knew i was standing there whatever it's cool i get a whisper and this person says can you help <laughs> i say new phone who dis he says your daddy again men why are we obsessed with you being some woman's daddy because it's fucking weird right it's creeping me out that this is the natural you're sorry too puppy it's the natural human male response so I said, oh, my bad, I was eating pickle chips. I was legitimately, but that I was trying to do something, which is why I wasn't. He acted like I didn't have any damage there. I was like fifth overall in damage. Like I'm not, I'm doing things. So then he responds to me and says, maybe you should eat before gaming. <gasps> what are you new to gaming? The fuck? You don't eat at the desk? What do you mean? Murky eats a... I don't and understand cool. what you're saying to me right now. Do you even fucking game? Do you even internet? First of all, <laughs> don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing in a war front, okay? I don't need you to be concerned with whether or not I'm helping or what I'm doing. You mind your own business. Go down your little fighting on roads bullshit, not following strategy, whatever. You don't need to be concerned with what I'm doing. Second of all, don't you worry about what the fuck I'm eating at my computer. Because my snack purchases are specific to what is easy to eat at the computer to avoid dropping shit all over Bertha sometimes because there might be stuff on my floor. Don't tell my husband. He's going to be really upset. We is that, are that spill still there? We there's discovered. There's whole chip on the floor. Yeah, right? there's like, and I ran over chocolate and it like smushed into the fucking carpet and I made it worse by spreading it like with a napkin. Yeah, it's all bad. So first you spill your drink. Now you're doing chocolate. And it's, it's all geez. bad. We just can't tell my husband. But. He didn't listen to the show. He's you went out of your way to tell me, can I help? No, bitch, I can't help you. Can you not message me in the middle of a fucking war front and then tell me what to do with my motherfucking snacks? Because, uh, hello? Pickle chips, guys. I, who doesn't eat while gaming? This guy. <sighs> can you eat before you game? <laughs> I don't know. Does your fucking mother make your hot pockets before raid, jerk off? Like, seriously. <laughs> Hey, yes. Fucking A, man. Like, in the real world, I don't have a mother downstairs making me fucking Hot Pockets so that I could eat before I game. I'm sorry. The Milo, we want it. For real, though, if you have a mother that makes you Hot Pockets, can I come over? <laughs> My mom used to bring me amazing like, dinner meals when I was back He at said, home. can you eat before you game? <laughs> what? Guys, I just want to tell you... That no, I cannot eat before I game because I have all my snacks right here by Bertha for a fucking reason. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there is more. I have my cereal behind Oh me. my god, two full bags. Jesus Christ. I got lemonade on hand. <laughs> <I just eliminate. laughs> this is my breakfast, but I didn't eat it, but it's my breakfast. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so, guys, don't message me and ask me if I can eat before gaming. And don't message me and ask if I can help because you see me on the damage meters as much as I see myself. You got fucking eyeballs. I got fucking eyeballs. Don't concern yourself with such things. <sighs> so, that was, that was the warp was fun. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker said, Ya daddy. Yeah, isn't Poppy the new daddy? It's just so You're bizarre to me. Well, There's nothing like sexually arousing 
about another man that is not my father. Who's your daddy? That is fucking bizarre. And on a really, really fucked up mental trip, in my opinion. I think it's weird. And if you're one of those men that are like, who's your daddy? That's because men need to be the conquerors and the creators (laughs) of world and life. So to them, it's like how big their wiener is, which ball's bigger and, you know. I'm the bigger one. You are the bigger ball. I got to be honest. I believe you are the bigger ball. Um, so now uh-huh. I showed you guys all my, I swear <laughs> that I, I'm not like bulimic or anything. I like, I consume large quality quantities of the snackage. Um, and moreover, I could have lied and been like, sorry, I was shaving my cat or, you know, like I was being real. I was Happy eating on chips, dial. but I really was just running from A to B. I was trying to focus on, you know, what I was doing. I turned around from where I was fighting in the middle and I, he, you know, Mark told me to run. So anyway, you're right. The dominant side is the smaller ball. <laughs> He's about to check. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think these were really, really great. <laughs> is it though? Is it true? Well, the second you said that, Mark, he's like, Wait, do you have pants on? <laughs> no. Oh my god! <sighs> I do. I have pants on. It's okay. I, I feel like there isn't the really pants, and I'm not judging you. That's totally like I. We were talking about BlizzCon, and and Secret wants his roommate, um, which his roommate's a nice guy, but he wants his roommate to bunk with us, and I'm like, but then I can't. You know, walk around in my... I have to wear pants then because I don't know him. Are you feeling them now at this point? Is that what's happening? Or hand check? Yeah, I'm going to need to see your hands. Anyway, uh, so pantsless is okay. I feel like, you know, maybe it'll keep grandma out of your house. Okay, let's start to wind this down. Rem, what did you do this weekend? Wow, I don't know because... I I played Warcraft, Belle. Back to you. (laughs) Uh, I have been getting in league with Murky and turned to try hard. Wow, here, fuck you too. <laughs> uh, I have done a lot of not keys. Um, just today I did a plus five. Um, earlier this week I did a plus five. I'm going to start doing plus sixes with pugs. It's going to be painful. But I'm going to be try hard in mythics, guys. I'm going to be all that I can be Ooh. in the army. But the pain in the ass thing is I we... Murky and I are going to have to go across different uh, mythic keystones because Raider IO, the way they grade it is mm. you have to do all of the mythics to get like an inflated score, not just completing like a plus 10 on this one dungeon. You're not going to have good as of one if you did like plus fives across the board. So I've just been doing a lot of mythic keystones. Um, if you are a tank or a DPS that's good at mythics, uh, hit me up, uh, Remedies. Uh, Hashtag 1262. Didn't you guys say that, like, so the the way that we're doing this world now is unless you have, like, a high whatever Raider IO because somebody somewhere decided that this was going to be the new... It's the you, new fucked up year score, and it's stupid as you shit. You need I the mean, AOTC to get the AOTC. You need the gear to get the boss that you need the gear from. So Yes and no. You build yourself up. And then you let me down? No. So for no, every um, mythic you do and how many chests you clear, like you get 10 points per level of difficulty in a mythic and then you get like plus two points for one chesting plus two uh four points for two chesting it's i don't know how it actually works yeah they have a That's really weird insane. algorithm all i know is so you mean i got a I damage do- meter telling me that i'm mediocre and then i also have raider io telling me i'm mediocre and that people that are doing pugs are using <laughs> this as a gauge as to whether or not a person is a good player I mean, you're not going to be able to jump into a Mythic 6 and be like, okay. Well, I mean, you can because people usually don't really check. At, in between like 4 and 6, they usually don't check. When you get past 6, then they start going like, we're going to check your Raider IO. Well, if they're and so I mean, awesome that they need to be all fickety fact check, why don't they have their own group and they don't have to fucking pug? I don't understand. 
Uh, because oh, maybe their tank um, isn't around like I Envy mean, if or... if they're all the knowledge of the world and they're the fucking very best there ever was, then they shouldn't need to be pugging anyway. They should have all the fucking answers to the universe right in the palm of their hand that they probably masturbate with. Am I right? Or am I, I right? Either way... Um... I don't have five friends, so... <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I mean, at a certain point with the key suns, you need to have a system to check people because then you have people. Oh, I have the gear, but when I go, when you get in there, they don't know what the fuck they're doing in there. Yeah, so it's kind of like, that's yeah, me. that's what. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, it's we can build you up. Like okay. to know that you know the dungeon because not only are. But there what if I don't know the dungeon? Then learn. You start at lower tier keys. Obviously, you just don't jump in big and big into the six. And I'm pretty sure um, I have. Murky has, Envy has, Sauce has offered to take you into Mythics. <laughs> Sketch says, PS guys, send you around. <laughs> Dick. Um, <laughs> I, so, no, it's, it isn't it's, for low level stuff. Like, if I, if it's my first time doing a Mythic Plus too. Yeah, no, if you aren't aware of it, then you're not going to be doing it anyway, kind of thing. Let me I mean, tell you what you wanna... I love about Sauce. I'm going to tell you what I love about Sauce. Because where I try to do a higher than Mythic plus two for some key I had, Rem was like, no, we're not doing that. Somebody else was like, no, we're not doing that. Sauce was like, I don't give a fuck. Let's do it. So we went in. Who was with us? Candice, Merc, and I think Cactu, right? Oh, yeah. It was oh, a Cactu shit don't... show, guys. Because oh, Cactu was healing. That's fine. Oh, and... then we did the temple, too. Yeah, it was a shit show. But oh, it, was. it was a fucking can-do attitude. Can-do attitude. I don't believe we beat the timer on it, but it was still fun. That isn't the point. It's not Gaggy. the point. <laughs> That's not the point. Can-do attitude, guys. Roll I have a can-do attitude of killing shit. Roll your sleeves up and get to work. If you want to be elite, <clears throat> go... I can't even say it out loud. Um, I'm going to go join Cash's guild. Why? Oh. They're pretty elite, though. Fuck off. That way. Hop on your bike. <laughs> yeah, but they're pretty elite, though. I think Cash did, uh, like, what, a 26? There's no way he did 25? it. 25? Maybe she's Diane. They're pretty good, though. I could not hang with them because I felt even worse about myself after a run with them than, <laughs> like, I did before. But, like, you know, honestly, it's there like are... It's like when I go to the gym and I see the guys, like... Pumping up the 60s. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Stop, you're done. <laughs> Aw. Uh, that's amazing. So. Oh, yeah. Sketch, you know, Mythic, so, yeah. Huh? Uh, um, if you're a prop paladin, maybe. <laughs> I well, the, keep giving shit about being the good warrior. news is I think they're fixing you. So just hold the line. Steady as she goes. You're fighting the good fight, and I love that you have a sense of humor about it because the sense of humor is important when your class is ker-fucked. Ker-fucked. Okay. I only play the fight of the month, so I don't so know. So if you like. guys are serious <laughs> mythic plusers and you are a tryhard and you have a segmented fuck-all mentality, Rem is the healer for you. Big Did I get that advertisement right for your call out? Uh, no, because I mean, I help guildies do low keys and mid keys when they're kind of on the lower spectrum of. I know, keys. you tell me every time. You have to make <laughs> I'm sure. I'm a good guildie. You have to make sure leader. that I'm aware. I'll be like, hey, are we doing this? Sorry, I'm doing stuff with the guild right now. Well, fucking excuse me then. <laughs> um. So, yes, he does. I need more than organize the guild bank. I dare, I dare somebody, anybody, <laughs> one out of the 900 people in the guild, I dare somebody to trade places with me for a fucking day. I dare you. Dare. Nobody will ever do it as good as me, and certainly not with half the class. I could or do flare. it for a week. What are you talking about? Oh, could you? About? Do you want to trade? No, I, I, I challenge. Class. If somebody wants to trade places with me and be guild master for a day, because it's like herding cats and having an but entire daycare full of fucking toddlers, just, and none of them are wearing diapers. But, herding Bell, cats, can't... diaperless toddlers. That is what guild mastering is about. Herding you cats, class, diaperless toddlers. I play an actual class, so. Diaperless toddlers on carpet. Diaperless toddlers. Carpet. What color is the carpet? White. Diaperless <laughs> toddlers. 
herding cats, diaperless toddlers all at once while your fucking phone is ringing. That is what it's like to be a guild master. My phone's always dead. So I promise it is more than just organizing the guild bank. Oh, I'm like, okay, let's go do something. One second, I'm putting stuff around in the guild bank. Yeah, because that's an important task, guys. You have to do the little things. If you can't, I never see the stacks in the proper if order. If you can't do the little things as a guild master, you have no business being a guild master. Sometimes it means getting your hands dirty, and it doesn't always mean hiring a maid or somebody else to do it for you. You like that? I'm going to put that on a fucking bumper sticker. I wasn't guys. listening. What? <laughs> I hate him so much. Okay. Um, Merc, outside of you got shafted with the staff, was that a good dad joke? <laughs> was that a good dad joke? That Did was I a good day dad joke. That yeah. was a good dad. I, got, I got two dads now, apparently. He got shafted. What did the what did I do? Oh, I got all my reps exalted, so I'm done with that. Congrats, uh, motherfucking license. Try hard. Yeah, try harding. Uh, I went up seven item levels. Even days. your tortillas? Even my tortillas. They're all done. Hmm. I got worried about shit about them. Now I bought the silly tavern. I was like, okay, I'm done. Now you just wait for Paragons and see yeah. what we get from those. That's pretty much it. Uh, we did the Warfront stuff, but I've been really casual this week. I've been working, so I didn't have my, my pocket healer, so I've been kind of avoiding the dungeon scene at the moment just because it's been headaches at six for plus. Did you get anything cool for getting, uh, you know, all your reps done or no? Nope. I mean, like, You're not using high... the Azrae item from Champions? No, you don't even, you don't get it upgraded, uh, exalted. There's no item level upgraded, exalted. No, I'm talking about the item that you can buy from them. Oh, so actually, all, all those that you're talking about the Epic Gear, the 355s, is all downgrades for me now, so. But how the intellect gained from, it, it increases your secondary stats by like, I think it's like up to like 80 or something, and it stacks up. That's not a better trait than. What, are you, what, is, what is your, because for me, my item is the helm. And yeah, it mine's the helm too, but the older your helm is way better than that Azerite trait. I don't think so, but okay. I'm gonna go take a look. Uh, like for instance, for, uh, just from my perspective, for me, the it's better. I've actually yeah. got the helmet in my bag and I tried it out, but I like the old deer helm. The the origination array is way too good. Oh, uh, that's the only one you have, then yeah, that'd be yeah. Be better. So because I have Archive the Titans and then the thing in the Cha Cha. What <laughs> bell? I have World Quest gear, guys. Just kidding. Um, I thought yeah. you guys were going to fight it out because my Rem's favorite thing is to tell everybody when we're <laughs> doing stuff what is best for them as far as gear is concerned. You worry about your priest shit, I'll fuck with my <laughs> priest shit, all right? <laughs> the other, and he, now he ended up being right about my situation, I think, although I have no data to back that up, right? At this point, I'm just wowhead regurgitating shit on the internet and pretending that it's fact. But like, <laughs> I... You know, it could have been better. It was an item level increase. But what did I say to him? I'm like, how about you fucking don't mind my lock? Like, mind your own pre-shit and stay out of what my lock's doing. <laughs> but that's just Rem Daddy because he knows what's best for everyone. So it's not like, it's not a hateful, you know. He just, he's, he's, he's Daddy. Not, You're sorry too, Poppy. Oh, not weird, Daddy, either. Like, <laughs> gross. <sighs> you don't call him out as Rem Daddy. I had to. And yeah, it's official, my main tune is from Yeah, Danny. but he's like, you know, he's the caretaker. He wants to make sure you're, you're wearing the bright No, I'm the asshole. Oh, okay. It's true. You're right. I'm sorry I gave you a heart. I apologize. Um, <laughs> I didn't get much while playing in, although I did start the monk. Going to continue to move in that direction. I don't, haven't had a lot of game time because I've been doing real life stuff and, you know, brother's wedding and... Uh, this, week, this weekend, I am officially ready to send out the DitchCon backer stuff. The only reason why I have not sent it out is because I... Details. <laughs> I will focus on the details. The little tiny, unimportant details that don't matter to anybody. Like the border around the little sticker that goes on all the boxes. <laughs> yeah, like I just... Details, I just don't want to send anything out that I don't feel comfortable with, so... Uh, but I'm going to be sending those out this weekend. We're going to go <laughs> shopping for the crafting stuff for um, for DitchCon. We're starting to build that. Uh, shout out to Lena, who's building our centerpieces as we speak. It's going to be a community, you know, effort. Because, you know, this bitch can't craft. 
I could make a fucking mean steak, but I cannot craft my way out of a paper bag. I set a fucking glue gun on fire once. So, you know. That was weird. What did you do? Oh, my camera went like so extremely out of focus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes you have to like. You just so I was like, E.T. phone home. Just a little finger. Not two, just a little. Just tap. Tap. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help you be better. Just Sometimes it's just a little tap. Um, okay. So, yeah. That's pretty much what's going on here. Emote stuff. I'm working on it. I have a ton of people who reached out to me and want to do emotes. And I just need to budget a little bit because... BlizzCon's upon mm. us, so... Um, so soon. Yeah. So far, so close. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're on the, the final we're stretch. The oh, day, right? I have an email. Let me pull up the email. Hold on. Because I did promise that I was going to read the email before we go. Um, or I, rather that I was going to respond to it. <clears throat> <sighs> so let's see. Um, <laughs> Is this negative or positive? It, well... Um, do two negatives equal a positive? No, it wasn't okay. a bad. He just had a question, and I was just going to answer um, it. It's a little oh, like, uh, what's his name? Thaddeus. It's kind of both, I guess. Yeah. Hold on. Um, I think this is the right one. Oh, this is Colton. So Colton said, first of all, been listening to the podcast ever since I discovered WoW Podcast. Was really bummed when you guys went away for a bit, but still came back the second episode... The second to new episode was dropped because you guys are awesome to listen to. I just got finished listening to this week's podcast and noticed you guys need some people for your guilt. I was wondering what you might be looking for in terms of where I would be. My server is extremely dead and just want to be a part of a guild where I can actually get a group together for mythics or get a team to raid. I've been dying to get into this raid, but my server just is dead and I hate pugs. I feel you, my dude. I hate pugs too. Wow, you hurt Envy's feelings. He even says, I will pay for my own server transfer. <laughs> Are you sure? If you have gold, we can buy you a gold. So you're a 335 <laughs> hunter, which I'm assuming because this is rather old. This is two weeks old, and I apologize. It took me so long. Um, I'm assuming you're not 335 anymore, but you are a Beastmaster Hunter. He wants me to say that the numbers didn't entice him, Rem, just so you're aware. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so here's the good news. The good news is we always need good people that are interested in being uh, a part of a can-do attitude that, you know, want to do things and have fun and yeah pound um, self-starters it's important that when you are talking about going to a guild or you know you want to come hang out and all those kinds of things i always recommend that you just roll a tune on the server come see what it's all about uh i think it's important that you have proper expectation as well as we do um because there will be times when you ask a question and you hear crickets because everybody's busy or maybe there's only three people online and you thought there was 10 because it's three o'clock in the morning um if you you know, have any kind of uh, issues where you need to be cuddled, you know, it might not be the place for you because we've had a, a few in and out who, you know, <laughs> you don't respond right away to a yeah. whisper and all of a the sudden they're removing the 50 guy. of their fucking tunes from your guild and throwing a fit and, you also, know. Also, <laughs> if you look at the fine print, there is a guild entry free. You have to send to uh, Remedies. Not remedies but. though. You send it to Bell because Bell's trying to get that Bronto, guys. We are two. I have what do I? What was my fight? My last count, two, uh, two million. I don't want your gold. Three hundred thousand, I think, is what I'm at. Two million three hundred thousand. We're making it happen. I got stuff. I'm at uh two hundred k. But um, you know, I we love everybody, and if you are interested, you know, I always recommend just you know rolling a a little guy just to see if you jive. Um, no. And don't like uh, like play at different times of the day as well to see what kind of people play during your actual peak hours as well. If that's like your main concern for me, it's just it's whatever. Like I <laughs> I leveled a little one level one guy um, on the on the server, and like the next day I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm transferring my main. <laughs> 
So it's yeah, different for some people. Guilds are like marriages. There's got to be some expectation there. Just because, you know, um, one time you asked in chat if people wanted to run a dungeon with you and nobody wanted to run a dungeon with you, you're not feeding them, fucking them, or financing them. So it doesn't make a bad guild. It doesn't make us bad people. It just means that somebody didn't want to run a fucking dungeon and they're not legally obligated to run a fucking dungeon right when you That's need that dungeon. That's also in the fine print. You have to answer me. But to be fair, though, <laughs> usually there's always somebody looking for people to run Mythics with. So... Although we seem to be in need of some more tanks, um, because they're few and far between. But oh we'll take God. a hunter. We'll take, you know, whatever whatever you want to play. Oh, I have a hunter, take. Belle. <laughs> I know you have a hunter. But yes, we, you know, I just I like to be real hunter. about guilds. I don't be like, you're going to, everybody's wonderful all the time. Because it's not, it's not reality. We are a great oh, um, guild and we are a good, you know, can-do attitude. And really we love quick, each other. What's your item level on Belle? Uh, 351? Question mark? Oh, damn. Never mind. I was going to say my hunters are always uh, always in here. Oh, you think just because I'm not a tryhard that I can't mind my own shit? Because I maintained uh, two heroic tunes last expansion. One being a healer, I'll have you know. Item level, very comparable to Bell's. I mean... Being subpar on those, or, I'm gonna start. Doesn't leveling. matter. My item level, <laughs> my item level, and my AOTC said I was not subpar, and that's all that matters. It's because you got the trinket marking I was supposed to get. <laughs> did I? What did I get? Oh. 365 views. I'm gonna start leveling my hunter now. His name Mercurylicious. <laughs> but if you if you are looking for a home because your your home is sad and all that, we are here. Sometimes not all the time. Like I can't guarantee all three of us are going to be on at all times. But guys, I have a great guild. I have great officers. I have good people that love each other and work hard for each other. And I firmly believe in quality, not quantity. Honestly, so. Yeah. Don't do mythics with I, I don't brands. know. I mean, 20 tacos that are average compared to one taco that's really good. Ah. Well, so there's, a, there's a finite that is line a little, That's a conundrum for sure. I don't know. I would go mean. for the one good taco. I, I don't know that I would. Quality. I don't know. Because then you got the ball and chain now, Marky. God. Yeah. <laughs> Rem knows because. <laughs> Rem knows. Yeah, really? apparently I'm going to church. For oh my God. <laughs> Guys, okay, so we're... I'm going to tell the story when we're rolling the credits because I think it's a good story to tell. All right, we'll let you... We'll show the story. But, guys, I want to thank you for uh, giving us your hour and a half every week. If I missed an email, I apologize. Well, two and a half. Yeah. Two hours, three. I guess we have to change that anyway. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. I emails, I will be better about them from now on. Comments... You know, I'm getting there. Smash that like button. Smash that <laughs> fucking like button. Guys, don't smash the like button. That's just weird. Nobody wants Pressing anything delicately. smashed. Um, make sure you follow these fine young gentlemen on the uh, Snapchats and the Twitters. and. Um, Add me on LinkedIn as well. Just kidding. They both have a fet life. Actually, why am I bullshitting? We all three have a Fet Life. Uh, you could find me at Rusty Trombone on Fet Life. Um, for real, though, I do have a Fet Life. It's not real, though. It's just fake. <laughs> we still don't have a LinkedIn. Where is the LinkedIn? <laughs> Dude, does anybody use? Oh, we I we don't have a LinkedIn. Do you remember that when I do remember because I like doing the all the commands for Twitter, Twitter and Facebook, he's he like, and then the he LinkedIn? went to LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> I got jokes. I got jokes. Um, yeah, so follow these guys on their Snapchats. Of I added like three people last week. I still don't know who they are. but I am work. working on being better about my Snapchat because, you know, I've been busy. But... take photos of in the desert. I'm just going to photograph. Guys, if you give us money, we will give you our exclusive personal Snapchats. Exclusive. I think they know at this point Wait. we're lying. What? Yeah, I'm going to give you a whole separate Snapchat because my Snapchat's not my real Snapchat. It's my fake Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. Exactly. I don't. I have an, oh, a Snapchat. Okay, uh, Rem, what's your Snapchat? Uh, Remedy Zen. Merc? Travis.hoard. <laughs> I know. It's I okay. See. Mine is Samantha is it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make 
The Oh my god, we got a new style boy right now. Okay, hold on. I got to play your song. Guys, I got the soundboard. We got That's actually a pretty good version too. I don't know how to hear nothing. Well, you're not. I'm not dancing. No. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I need to let the donkey roll go faster. That's probably what she said. Anyway, so uh, he, thank you for being a member of the Style Boys crew, where you know you can, you can, be, you can flap and Ericoa and you know all the other. Oh my God, that was one what? drunk, one drunk day, and they'll never let me forget about my Ericoa impression. All right, guys, thank you I so much us. for watching. Thank you for being you and thank you for loving and supporting us like it means a lot to us that you give a shit um and thank you murky's mom for always being a mom to all of us really she's going to blizzcon with us yeah because this it, out. it means a lot to us oh my god tio has a koba kai shirt <laughs> <laughs> well we've derailed officially so you know I the story still Oh, the story. Okay, so we're about to roll the credits. So while we're rolling the credits, sir, before I hit the button, before I smash that like button. <laughs> so the other day I get on where we're, you know, where we hang out and Merck starts telling me the story about how he wanted Rem to come game with him. And Rem said he had to go to church or he had to get, he had to do church or something. Now, Murky on purpose told me the first half of the story and then kind of stopped to let me like. So I did. I started to have an internal panic. I was like, oh, shit, this girl even has him going to fucking church. Like, we have lost him completely. Like, once the girls got you in the religious door, you can't fight God and country, guys. Like, you and religion are going to lose that battle. Somebody is going to lose, and it's not going to be religion. So, like, we thought, fuck, man. We, there, we're never going to get him back. Like, we lost our dude. Merck was like, we don't even know him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of the story goes is he meant servicing a fucking church for his work he's in pest control <laughs> this, this motherfucker wasn't in his sunday best with a bible okay he was in his pest control suit nuking fucking cockroaches that's what he was telling me that's how i took it as until he finally clarified it he because he said work over heroics or work over mythics that's like, oh <laughs> so just so you guys are aware murky did this on purpose too because he probably assumed i would have the same reaction he did because murky really <laughs> believed but i did i was like oh fuck like it's worse than i thought like damn i know i make jokes on the air but like whoa that was like taking a fucking bullet man because it's you know <laughs> with that we are officially going to get the hell on out of here <laughs> Ah, oh, so good. Hi, mommy. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to do the ending credits. God damn it. I ain't got wrong. Oh, why? <laughs> Guys, I forgot to do the ending credits. That's okay. It's like, what the hell? My mom probably. The that. new iPhone update tells you your screen time. How is how am I gonna have 34? Oh, it's only 34 minutes total of social networking of the week. 34 minutes total of social networking for the whole week. That tells you how often I'm on Twitter. No. Oh, wait, Two gosh. seconds. So, um, what's your church name going to be? What? Do you, what? What's your church name going to be now that you're a church boy? Church name? What are you talking about? You're churching it up. We don't use slave names here. How do I? Oh, hold on. Uh...